Twitter. <clears throat> Oh, I should also mute this. There we go. Now there won't be any obnoxious feedback there. There I am thinking out loud. I can be heard by everybody. I'm doing another test stream. Come join the fun. Oh, yeah, let's discard. There it is. Oh, I should also log out of here. Yeah, I gotta log out of Skype because for some reason it just lags everything up. Yes, sign me out. Stream party start. I'll be expecting people to join very soon. Yeah, so there's nobody here. What the hell is the donation bar? I thought I had that up there somewhere. All right, let me see if I can launch it again. Um, where is it? Streamlabs. Hi, Logic. Hey. <laughs> you good? Yeah. <laughs> For a second there, I thought you were just gonna like sneak in the call and try to scare me again. I'm smarter than that. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of just doesn't really happen with you, my friend. It's mostly effective if I'm like busy, like playing a game or doing something and not paying attention to the roster. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. Bliss somehow knew about that and she took advantage of it. Surprising, absolutely no one. Yeah, pretty much. Origins. Oh wow! Look at that. Let's see, hey, it's up. The chat is already going. It's currently on a flight home from New York. Oh, all right, awesome. Awesome. Just loving that here. Doo -doo -doo. So setting a few things up. Let's go ahead and I wish I could get rid of that bar right there. There's like no way around that. It's irritating. Actually, let me just do this. There we go. Now wait just a little more. No, 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 no. I don't want that. Stretch it all over here. Night is your thank you for the five uh, cheer bits. Actually, let me just move it up for a second. And yeah, there's a little bit of an echo because I still have um, two of which running. There we go. That should hopefully resolve the issue. At least if I can do. Clone channel. No. Create voice channel. No, none of that. That's not what it meant. Let me go ahead and close that. Let's just wait for other people to join in if they're up for it. Mm. Yeah. Hey, Golden, you should really calm you okay. Uh, Flutterstar, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm perfectly fine. It's just a habit of thinking out loud. Also, I gotta fill in the silence, so. Yeah. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> <laughs> I've come to talk with you again. <laughs> Yeah, that works. 
And it looks like we have a Faith Star. Hey. Yeah. Faith Star is like a second version of Hungry Sama. Small, fluffy, diabetes-inducing things. Yeah. Oh, god damn. What? Okay, so have you heard of that new thing Twitch does? What? Where, like, as you watch dreams and stuff, you accumulate these point things. Oh, the point things? Yeah. Like, in, during Ellie's stream, I noticed this, and from that one stream, I got, like, well over a thousand points. Damn. Like, it gives you ten points every so often, but then if you click a thing, it drops, like, a hundred on you. Huh. So I managed to push well past a thousand, and, like, the points let you do dumb shit, like, you can get a subscriber emote, or, like, something like that. You could get a message highlighted so someone will see it better, that sort of thing. Oh, Dimension Traveler Alicorn! Jesus Christ. Oh, that just occurred to me. I could just make separate windows off of um, off of my Twitch. Do Let me just go ahead and turn that on. Uh, yes, alert box. Interact. Here we go. Window projector source. And where is it? Where's, uh, where the hell is it? Oof, jeez. Uh, Magical Star, thank you for, uh, following. No, hosting. Hosting. What the fuck is that? It's going down a bit. Okay, which ones are active? Better yet. Milestones, new background. Oh, we got donation, but what the hell is it doing over there? Yeah, what the blaze is it doing over there? Here. Actually, let's slow down just a bit, and... There. Now yeah, let's go ahead and window project that. Perfect. Oh yeah, it's even smaller. That's good. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Sensational. Hi, Jesse. Hello, Jesse. What's so funny? I just simply said, boo. And that uh, was your reaction. <laughs> Mr. Sensational, thank you for following. I swear to God, like the wind blows the wrong way and you laugh your ass off. The wind blows the wrong way and... What? Exactly. What? The, 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 wait, the wind? Don't, I don't laugh with the wind. Now you're confusing me. I said My if the, I said if the wind blows the wrong way, you laugh your ass off. No, that's not the no, I meant like how could that make me laugh? Because that I'm not even I would just be looking at like, the wind like the freaking heck. I wouldn't laugh. I have no <laughs> idea what either of you are on about anymore. I'm just gonna do the sensible thing and give up on that. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and post this in the chat whenever it pops up. Uh, don't mind me, I'm working on a commission. I finally got one. Yay. There you go. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Are you really doing this? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, laugh it up, Goldie. Okay, mm -hmm. well. <laughs> ah, why are we laughing? <laughs> why are we laughing? <laughs> Random side note, I've fallen into the abyss of a brand new addiction. What now? 
Um, so you guys know about fucking modding for PC games, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I've been modding Skyrim and recently found out about the wonder that is the Outfit Studio. Uh oh. Which you can do the whole load of stuff with. Like you can remodel an armor to fit a certain body type, or you can make a weapon look however you want. I've just been uh, doing that for the past three days because my creativity has been halted. Kissin Chow, I don't think you heard of Jasper. Though I would have loved to have had him on the call. Yeah, it would be fun for Jasper to join again. Jasper fun. Jasper awesome. Mm-hmm. I had a list of what games to test for the stream. Where the hell did I put it? Okay, should I use this for the blue or not? Well, the fuck's the clock? Dimension, shut up! Oh, good grief. <sighs> I am fully aware that there is a nude mod for Skyrim, and no, I don't use it. Ah, here it is. I don't think it's big enough. I need to get the other one. Right up at him. Okay, so... See, a robot named Fight, Blazing Chrome I have yet to get, Axiom Verge I have yet to get, Castle Crashers, and Shovel Knight. I can test those two. So, it looks like there's just going to be three games. So it may be a shorter mm-hmm. one. Like last time, I tested like eight fucking games. <laughs> That's mm. a lot of games. That's a lot of games. Hey! I was hoping you were going to do that. Yeah! Uh, if you're hearing me doing a lot of snipping in the background, I'm getting a commission started. So I'm trying to get the pattern set. Okay. So don't mind the scissors snipping. If you're hearing that in the background. Clip, clip, clip. I found this really cool felt fabric that has leopard pattern on it. Hmm. Okay. And this is important because this character's OC has this very unique patteration that has, like, leopard pattern on it. I was like, okay. Not something I can use to, but I can manage it. There's an MLP mod for Pokemon? What? I am not surprised! Um... I mean, I know there's a I'm lot done. of MLP characters, but there's not hundreds and hundreds of them. Uh, I'm going to assume they meant there's an MLP mod for, like, Skyrim, which I can confirm there is. I downloaded it once, and it was um, <laughs> it was an interesting time. Skyrim. Oh, I'm, I'm already envisioning it in my head. I'm like, oh, lordy. Anyway. What do you call a group of security guards standing in front of a Samsung store? Oh, boy. What? That sounds like a pun coming up. I'm scared. Let's see if I can... Let's see if I can still do this while I'm on the phone. I'm looking at Twitter. And look at... If so, I call Twitter dibs on catching Derpy. Catching Derpy. The Guardians of the Gap. The Guardians of the Galaxy. Boo! Yeah. The joke was that dumb. <sighs> yeah. Boo! Yeah, go, go commit toaster bath. Toaster bath? <laughs> that's never good. What, you've never it's heard so that good. before? I've said that like no, almost... No, I heard it before. It's just so funny to me. Well, thanks, Solar. I thought your one was go commit not alive. No, it's one of three things. He said go commit not alive or grab one of the bottles under your sink and chug it. One of which he did say on occasion was go commit toaster bath. Okay. There. Ha ha! I can still look at chat and... Actually, now I think about it. and That one MLP mod for Skyrim was like one of the funniest things I've ever downloaded because... Like, I also had a mod that allows you to get multiple followers at the same time. 
Mm. So I just had the main six and me walking through Solstheim, murdering a bunch of Vikings. Mm. And I kid you not, like in one of them, I think it was Fluttershy, just caused spontaneous explosion. Just at random. And I kept dying. Oh. Well, <laughs> trying to piss off. <laughs> well then that gives them a new definition of a flutter bomb actually now I think about it all of the characters did something like explosive based despite not being you know magical mm-hmm. see I found this Japanese music video you should listen to it J12K I'll listen to it some other time Ooh, Faith's got some hot chocolate. Yum. What is hot chocolate? Faith has chocolate. Faith came back with some hot chocolate. Oh, okay. Awesome. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Yum. Hot chocolate. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So, um, time to test out a few games here. Oh, did I trans? I gotta test that or make sure it's all set up. I'm going to first test uh, Shovel Knight again and make sure that works still. Um, let's go down a bit. I could test Sonic Mania again. I don't need, I don't need Metal Slug. Hmm. AVGN Adventures, Dust, and Legion Tale. I tested them before. They worked okay. It doesn't hurt to try again. Jackbox. Better be safe than sorry. What? It's a better be safe than sorry. Yeah, pretty much. Huh, I thought I had it on here. Shovel Knight, Shovel Knight, Shovel Knight. Where the hell is it? Oh, don't tell me you lost the shovel. All right, well, time to set up a window for that. <laughs> All right, let's go down a bit. S, let's look up S. S, let's say, go. There we go, Shovel Knight Sega. Treasure Trove. Hey, come on. <laughs> Oh, don't fucking start this shit with me right now. Come on. No. There we go. Yeah, I might have to look at that song too later. That was linked. Okay. Because now I'm curious. Alright, so let's. Hey. Okay. Volume mixer. So that way. Hey, come on. Okay, so the volume is already low. I just gotta. How's the source? Here we go. Game capture. And this is show. Oh. Boo! What? Mr. Sensational Boo! God, how many more fucking terrible jokes are you gonna make, dude? Shovel Knight sold in spades. Oh. Wait, what? Uh, Shovel Knight sold in spit. Go fucking die! I just said it! Alright. So, moving that down just a snitch. And. Just a bit. Grab me a little snack myself. Okay, I got that set up. Guess me... who just got some Girl Scout cookies? <laughs> me. I got Girl Scout cookies. We know you said. We heard you. As your. I know. Oh, wait. I almost forgot. The last time, last time I said I had my sister helped order some for me. They just arrived. Okay. Because okay. we only got to the ordering phase. Now we got the cookies, and I'm munching on one of them. Damn. A very good snack. Okay, this is one of the games that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This game is pretty loud. 
Well, I'm just looking at the chat. I can't actually watch the video and play and listen to YouTube since then because I'm on my phone. That's perfectly fine. I need to be able to see it. I will be back in a moment. There is something that must be done. All right, then. Okay. Let's see. I know Blissy has done a Try Not to Laugh vid on her channel. Justin Golden, have you watched Try Not to Laugh videos? Um, I've, watched Mar I've watched Markiplier do them, and I've occasionally watched a few of them myself. So. Shovel of Hope? Shovel of what? Oh, the yeah. game. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know if Golden ever watches them. Golden, do you watch any Try Not To Laugh videos? I, I used to watch ones with Markiplier, and that's about it. Yeah. All right, so the, the controls are a little limited. Ah! That was a close one. Hopefully there's no lag involved. Well, I can't see it right now. But I'm sure the chat will know if there is. Yeah, they're going to know much better. Oh, god dang it. What? A color brony boo! Shovel of hope, huh? I can dig it. Oh! <laughs> Take it. God dang it! Why do you exist? Why do you people keep doing this? Okay, Mr. Sensational is asking you if they can tell one more joke. No lag. Okay, so far I hear there's no lag. That's good. Yay. Jump up here, and then up here. Oh, damn it, I missed it. Oh, so, if you guys hell. are wondering, if you guys in the chat are wondering which cookie I got, I got the s'more one. I'm saving one of the boxes of thin mints for Blissey. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Shoveling this way to fit. Go fucking die, Dimension! Dang it! Here we go again with the pun. Twitch has brought out the status. This is this the set of staff of that and ah! well, That sounds like a personal problem. God damn it. Uh, that, I think I turned talking today, apparently. I gotta get used to these weird controls here. Yeah, I know. I've, I've heard Shovel Knight has very weird methods of gameplay, so I'm like, ah, okay. Noted. Thank you. And back. Thank you, Mr. Sensational, for helping me pronouncing that because I was having a hard time. Oh, uh, <laughs> fuck. has brought out the status in me with puns. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> oh, so I have to hit the uh, space button. <laughs> That's a good question, Magical Star. Did everyone go to the pun school of Silver Quill today? <laughs> there is no pun school. <laughs> He burned down the pun school, remember? During the pun. <laughs> no, Silver Quill's pun school, probably not. There was only one. We were told there was only one. There we go. They wouldn't lie. <laughs> oh, Ice Dragon has mentioned, did you Whoa. hear about the Pokemon DLC for Sword and Shield? I have. Oh, the one, that do the one that's doing that thing that they said they couldn't do? Oh, You, you mean that one? Why? I refuse. Be quiet, Logic. You couldn't nice. pay me enough to be quiet. How about be nice? How about pay me? <laughs> <laughs> so apparently Logic nice. is becoming a griffin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just got it. You just got it. <laughs> There's only one thing I have in response to that. <laughs> ah, there we go. He opened the gold one. Yeah. Yep. There we and go. Yes, uh, That's better. Oh yeah. And also, yes, I have. I'm aware of the DLC for the Pokemon game, 
I am definitely looking forward to it. It just, it very did much grew my curiosity to see what they're going to do with this. So, we'll have to see how they will manage comparison to past games that have like a follow-up, but more like an expansion concept. Silver Quill is a hippogriff, not a griffin. Yeah, okay, two the... different things. Yeah, all I, all I've got to say about the expansions for the Pokemon game is that all I can really look at it and say is like, you guys are really pissed off with Pokemon not a few months ago, and now you're willing to pay for shit that, according to you, should have been in the base game anyway. <laughs> Hypocrisy? What's that? <laughs> it's like, it... Because like, as an individual who doesn't play Pokemon, I didn't really have a stake in complaining about it. But all I will say is, it must it mustn't have really been that big of an issue if you were gonna forget about it oh, literally no. two months later. Oh no! Uh. Did you die? It's like everything the game freaked. I got hit by a chandelier that I saw coming down. There's a couple of them coming down. Nope. Hmm. Wait, are you able also, to walk? Um, also, uh, uh, Kizun Chow. Yeah, the, uh, I am definitely also looking forward to the Pokemon Rescue Team remake. I know one of us is definitely excited about that. <laughs> hmm? The oh, Pokemon God. Rescue Team game that's got a re that's gonna have a remake for the Switch. Oh. Nice. I know one of us, I know one person in our group is definitely happy about that. <laughs> Oh, I should check, uh... Because there's one other thing that would actually make this work better. Oh, it dropped 96 frames. Damn it. Aww. I think... Desert Samurai, I'm not being... I'm not being salty about Pokemon either, because, again, I don't play it. I don't have a stake. <laughs> and I don't play Smash, so I don't have a stake in that either. So whatever's happening with Smash, um, you do you. Honestly, when it came to uh, with Smash, when they announced the the final uh, fighter for the first se first series, I had a feeling that eventually we were gonna have another Fire Emblem character. But I'm like, okay, can we tone down the Fire Emblem a little bit, dude? I get you like the game, but give the others a chance, won't you? You know? Yeah, like Shantae. I know. And, um, also, when they announced all the me costumes that was going to be introduced, one of the games was like, okay, I'm immediately seeing Assassin's Creed costume custom. That's what I was thinking in my head on that one. And two of the new Mega Man ones, like, oh, cool, we got two of the Mega Man ones. Yeah! Cool. And the rabbits are like, well, they were gonna add those eventually because they have rabbit Mario's in them. Games from the that game Ow! into a spirit, so no surprise, they were gonna eventually turn those into a something. I'm just glad it was a costume. <laughs> hmm. But then when they had Cuphead, ah, uh, oh yeah, I heard they, I heard they were putting Cuphead into Smash by way of a skin, you know? Yep, just like they did with Sand. I was, ha I'm happy either way. I just want to say a lot of the freaking memes based off of the announcement are hilarious. Like yeah. there's there's the creator who's like he's got this like nah, and there's like a pile of like other characters who could be added, and the other one is that said um, Fire Emblem character, and he's like yeah. Yeah, I've seen that one. <laughs> I've seen that one. <laughs> it's, always, it's always hilarious. So much like, salt. Yeah. Again, oh, Smash, the fucking Smash Ultimate should change its name to fucking Nintendo vs. Fire Emblem in 2020. Apparently. <laughs> 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 yeah. Can we get a hashtag Fire Emblem vs. Nintendo 2020? <laughs> Please. But of course, after they, um, ah. after they announce the, how many are going to be in the Season 2 pass, I'm like, okay. Who's gonna hope that the possibility of the pimp, of them putting a Pokemon into the game, thank from Sword and Shield? Who's gonna want to hope that? I God know damn I'm it. one of them. But then that would raise the question: 
what char- what Pokemon or character there are they going to use for Fire to represent the Pokemon Sword and Shield as a DLC? Because there are a few good possibilities. The question would be, which one? Wait, don't the up well don't the updates have names? All the DLCs have names. It depends. It usually depends. Like no, I mean like. As in, don't they actually, like, for real, have names, like, armor or something? Uh, no. They're just, the DLCs are usually a fighter's path. No, I mean for Pokemon. Oh, like, I no. saw a whole I saw a whole thing about it on Twitter. Oh, um, the names of the, for the Sword and Shield expansion, is that what you're talking about? Yes. Okay, there's the. Uh, I thought that's what you were talking. No, no, I was talking about when for Smash Brothers when they announced the new set oh. for the next fighters in the season two pass. Which Pokemon from Sword and Shield is going to become a fighter for Smash Brothers? Um, probably their next ninja one, like that one frog guy. That for ninja, that was already in. No, I know. Whichever one's the most like that. No. Uh, that you're probably yeah. What of a sword water and shields spider. new? Is like what sword and shields new special ninja Pokemon? Because that's they the only have... one Smash seems to care about. <laughs> they technically don't have another ninja related one, but we got the start with the starters. I think the most likely candidates are going to be either the water starter or the fire starter. It's going to likely be one of those two. If not, if, if it's they an make actual it the, Pokemon... If they huh? make it the fully evolved Skull Bunny, that's going to look like favoritism. So I feel like the better angle to take would be just update the Pokemon trainer. Or like make a new Pokemon trainer. Put the female Pokemon trainer, the fucking one that everybody just decided is Scottish or Irish. <laughs> because something, or something that hats a bit Irish. Well, Don't put Hop in it. Hop don't put Hop in it. Well, hop wasn't I'm not saying, bad. No, I'm not saying Hop is bad. Just don't put Hop in it. <laughs> oh, you shush. I refuse. Um, <laughs> let's see. Maybe likely if the comp, when the depending on which comp, how far in the uh, DLC it happens. But if after the if the expansion is successful. They might use the legendary that is introduced in one of the expansions from Pokemon Sword and Shield. The use new the fighter po legendary. The new fire legendary, that bear. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wait, Thank wouldn't you. the legendaries just be more wolves? Thank you, Desert Samurai. No. Because um, the two new legendaries that get introduced in the expansions, one of them is actually ah! a type of bear character, and the other, I'm not 100% sure, but it's either a jackalope or type of deer. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure. Because the first one is known as oh, the God Ar damn it. Isle of Armor, and the Isle of Armor is all about, you know, what the armor represents, and usually that's involving body. So, better You're example of fighting. And the better example represents of fighting with your body is literally martial arts in general. So the armor the Pokemon is going to be Goku? <laughs> <laughs> Which would be ironic because okay. Goku doesn't use armor. Okay, I walked right into that. <laughs> okay, Robo to you, Logic. <laughs> I am aware. I am a genius. But, no, but that no! doesn't fit because the uh, uh, legendary is a bear, not a monkey. <laughs> nice try. Well, I mean, technically, Goku isn't a monkey either. Well, he's based off of the Monkey King. That's me. He's a Saiyan. <laughs> okay, the character Goku, the creator in, was inspired by the stories of the Monkey King, who was also named Goku. Okay, but Dragon Ball isn't about the Monkey King, is it? What is Dragon Ball about? It's having me inspired by that character. Stop making it stop making it difficult. Okay, well, Pokemon are heavily inspired by animals. But we don't call the legendaries from Sword and Shield wolves. We call them... What are their names again? Like, legit, what are their names again? I'm not going to bother, because all you're going to do is just make it more difficult than it needs to be. 
No, I actually want to know what the name is. Yeah, you're ruining. Okay, I'm with Wheel of Steel. You're ruining the joke now. I mean, that was the point. (laughs) Anyway, moving on. You think I was put on this earth to help you people with your jokes? I am a challenge. I am a mountain. Mistaken, the enchantress saw my fabulously regal self, and now I all bow before me. Hmm. You're not but Um, a descent, Dandy. What was I? The uh, next, uh, the other Pokemon that is part of the second part of the expansion is the that second expansion is known as the Crown Tundra. So we get to travel in in a mountain area, and it, which that was mainly like going through exploring oh. and caves and such, which we never did in the previous game. So that's um, I don't know what the deer is supposed to represent. I have I a guess, guess like that it might. Hurts you. I don't yep, know. Yep, it does. I think I'm thinking that um that the legend the uh the the deer or the crown related uh, legendary since that's what it's based on. I'm guessing it's probably in ba- relation to the whole idea about Buddhist religion. Due to the fact the thing around its neck looks like the Buddha feet that you'd see in many in many of the mythologies. It's just it, these are all just wild guesses, so I, I don't. Don't quote on me and say that it's true. Okay? Don't make it into a fact, so I'm still not 100% sure myself. Yeah, uh, J12K, that's the one. The floating, tiny floating deer thing. I don't know if it's supposed to be a deer or a jackalope. It's really hard to tell. <laughs> I mean, what does it look like more? That's the problem. I don't know. It looks like it might be a rat, the jackalope, but at the same time, like, wait, it also looks more Ow. like a deer. I'm confused. <laughs> it's so confusing. Damn it. But, oh, well, we'll figure it out eventually. I'm sure the fandom will eventually figure it out. Riley just posted a really funny gif in the meme fantastic counter. Yeah. Oh god, what? And sky is blue and grass is green. <laughs> ah, I see the floor here. It's made out of floor. It could be both a deer and a jackal. I mean, possibly, maybe a blend of those, both of those two things together. It's a possibility. Isn't a jackal a bunny would be a thing? It's a rabbit. It's a type God of rabbit it. that's actually bigger than an average sized rabbit with deer like horns. So, yeah. So yeah, jackalope Oof. is a bunny deer. Come on. A deer. Ugh. God damn it. There. Oh, I do? I sound deeper while I'm using my phone. <laughs> I think it's because the <laughs> phones bitch. have like reduced mic quality compared to, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's always the case scenario, but yeah. It's supposed to be. It sounds the same to me, but maybe it's her mic. I don't know. <laughs> I know you uh, guys, I can see you talking. Just because I'm not seeing the actual game doesn't mean I'm not seeing the chat. <laughs> yeah, it's literally on the right side of the screen. Let's see. Yes, we see the chat here is made out of chat. Okay, so apparently, uh, Shovel Knight kind of lags a little bit. Uh oh. Only a minor lag. And say, well, well, it's already got a couple of dropped frames. 271. Oof. Yikes. Let's try a few others. Um, I can try Castle Crashers again. Wait, that was a jackalope from the Lunchables commercials? What? Oh yeah, a long time ago they were they had like a thing with the Lunchables commercials where it was a platypus and a jackalope. Now you see, I keep thinking I'm old, but then people keep showing me this shit, and I'm just like, I don't remember this. When was this? And it's like, oh, it's older than I. Were you trying to get our attention, months. Golden? No. Oh, okay. Sorry. 
Okay, the chat is saying that it, even though it's like it's not the lag's not too serious, it still plays well, so it might be okay. Okay. I think the lag might be client side. The lag might be what? Client side. So like it's only something that you're seeing. Hmm. Which I know doesn't make sense if you're streaming it from your perspective, meaning we should be seeing the lag that you're seeing, but <laughs> Okay. Honestly, I just wanted. Honestly, I just wanted an excuse to use the term client side. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's create new. Castle mm -hmm. okay, so crushers. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna have to crop out between. Uh, these two. Come on. Logic, their names are Kobfu, Urshifu, uh, and Calyrex. Calyrex. Wait. Yeah. The fucking the Jackalope and the other thing. Yeah. The bear legendary that gets an that gets an evolution along. Oh, the new bear. ones. Yeah, the, for the new one. Why is the first one have two names? Because the first one is like, it's like, kind of like how they did with Sun and Moon. This one can evolve. Uh, the legendary that can evolve? In Sun and Moon, there was one that this little cute, little cosmos related Pokemon named Cosmog, and it had two separate evolutions. The second one, it will, it will either evolve into the two box legendaries. Sogaleo or Lunala. It usually depends on the game. Huh. So they're doing this same thing again with this Pokemon named Cubfu. I assume Which... the Cub in Cubfu is like, it's a small bear, but then it becomes a big bear. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Also, the thing that confuses me about a legendary evolving is there's only one. Which means they, that once that legendary evolves, then there are no more Kubfu. Also, I'm going to be they, honest, Kubfu, uh, uh, Yoshifu, and Sa Salarex, I'm calling it Salarex, sound like fucking Wakfu names. <laughs> like Salarex Urshifu. sounds like a fucking Shushu. Okay, Urshifu? Is supposed to be a blend of the Ursa, like the Ursa Minor and Ursa yes. Major. And the Shifu is an actual type of martial arts stance. <laughs> what? All this time of that again. Okay, so you know that thing? You know that thing oh, where you like, oh, you yeah. figure out the point of a joke? Wow. Like after years, so you yeah. and you guys remember when the first Kung Fu Panda movie came out, right? Yes, yeah. I do. How is like how long ago? Like how many years? Uh, really long time ago. We're talking like twelve years ago, dude. Yeah. It took me twelve years to figure out why Master Shifu was called Master Shifu, because Shifu is another word for martial arts. Fuck my life. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve, <laughs> twelve cunting years trying to figure this shit out. Nice. Also, nice. I see Golden. Also, I see Golden is playing the ultimate intellectuals game. What Castle Crashers? Yep. And you're using my favorite animal as well. The game is the shit. Are you kidding me? I love this game. This game is fun. It this is. Fun fun. At some point, I would love to create just like a separate like chat room and stream this game on like multiplayer. That would be the best time. It would be. I know that Solar plays this game. I know you play this game. I just need like one more player and then it can be like all four players. That'd be awesome. Mm. Mm. Desert Samurai, you butthole. What did Desert Samurai say? Okay, he was... I was looking back a bit, and said, well, it's not <laughs> like we're <laughs> it's not like we're talking crap on you. Wheels was curious if he wanted to talk 
about you to get you annoyed, I would say, hey, Wheels, remember the hashtag sick Karen booty? That joke should come back. But I'm not going to bring that joke back. Not yet, at least. Hey, yeah, see, does it sound right? Well, it can't come back. It's too goddamn thick. Shut up, Gold. It can't come, <laughs> it can't come at all. It's an ass. <laughs> I am the fucking king. Well, the fact that you keep king. acknowledging it and making it such a big deal, of course it's going to come back. Also, Desert Samurai, you know by virtue of you saying you're not going to bring the joke back, that just leaves the window open for... Pretty much. ...us... Okay. ...to do it. <laughs> Traveler Alicorn asks, Hey, Jesse, who is your favorite Pokemon in Sword and Shield? Oof. Tough question. Oh no! That's a tough question! Oh, God dang it. Um. Take thighs, save lives. Which basically means Jesse is Mercy from Overwatch. The okay. joke there is that Mercy is a medic and therefore saves a lot of lives. Think. Thank I, you. It's like, I, it's like, I figured out midway through that you don't play Overwatch and therefore wouldn't get the joke, so I had to explain it properly. No, I did get, I kind of get it now because of the fact it's Overwatch and like, oh, I remember now that character does have a thick butt. God dang it, here we go. Well, I mean, name me a female character in Overwatch who doesn't that isn't Zarya. True. And if none of you who know who Zarya is, Google it. One of the Pokemon in Swords and Shield is considered one of my favorites. Okay, I'm gonna have to narrow it down to three. One for one of the starters, one for a normal one, and one for the legendary so far. Uh, okay. For the starters, I'm not gonna lie, like, Grookey kind of rubbed off on me. Hmm. Also, I, I, steel, her problem isn't accepting it. Her problem is that we will never not accept it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go again. Anyway. Oh, shit. Here uh, we go again. We never <laughs> stop. Um, as for, like, Pokemon in general that's not, like, the starters or legendaries, um... Okay, I really do like the uh, the imp Pokemon that God is damn it. in the game, especially its final evolution. Just holy crap, that thing's a beast. <sighs> Grimmsnarl is what it's called. That thing is a flipping beast in the game. Like holy Christ. I almost got owned by this thing. What the heck? Because I was battling it. When um, I was battling the Gigamax version of it, and I was like, "Good God, I almost got freaking owned by this Pokemon! What the heck? Mm. I barely made it out also, alive!" There is something about Pokemon Sword and Shield that does like rattle my brain a bit. What? So, and spoilers for anyone who hasn't played Pokemon Sword and Shield, but a calendar year has passed since it came out. So bite me. Um, so at the end of the main story you end up just straight up catching satan like eternatus is satan he's pokemon satan okay he, he's satan oh you're talking about eternius yeah eternatus you know satan <laughs> let that process for a bit a satan pokemon so, no it's like oh. eternatus is basically fucking it is the anti-legendary. If the legendaries were considered gods, this is the anti-god. This is the great evil to parallel the light. And it's just like, yeah. So basically, Pokemon Satan, and you catch it. And it's yours. Forever. Ten okay. Technically, uh, the one that is considered Satan in the Pokemon, in all of Pokemon in general, is Giratina. That thing is technically what? Yami. Yami in Japanese Giratina mythology. Giratina can't be Satan. They're too pure. Did you not see them in the movies? It's <laughs> technically still a representation of Satan when you look at it. 
when you look I, at its backstory and at the same time look at its, the area it lives in, it's literally hell. Really? Yep. I mean, I the the idea it gave me is that the parallel dimension is like a conduit to our own reality because anything you break in there rips our world apart. No, the realm that Giratina lives in is basically a dimension oh, shit. that represents chaos. Good thing I noticed this. And what is hell considered? A type of chaos. Well, hell is less chaos and more just, you know, a torturous judgment. Yeah, don't catch the kill. cursor. Anyway. I have to do that to a couple of these games. <laughs> yep. Let's um, go ahead and cross that out. But yeah, Yami, never... oh, the, uh, Eternia, basically, Eternia is basically the Japanese... Yeah, yes, is okay, basically the Japanese take... It. Is basically the Japanese version of the of evil known as Yami, which is translated to dark, evil. It is, it is evil incarnate, basically. I have a feeling wanna... that... I don't think that's what it was based. That's what they were trying to base it on, because of the fact it's this this dragon thing's transformation into its considered gigamax form is a giant hand. They're like, okay, I'm getting a lot of copy vibes off of this thing. What the heck? Wait, Giratina has a gigamax? Or no. are we still talking about it? No, Eternius. Eternius. Eternius in the game. It's Eternius, dude. What the Are you sure? Yes. I'm googling what it. What the hell happened? Did I just turn anyway, that on? I don't know. No, I, I did a goof up. That's all. Nothing to worry about, folks. Okay. Whoa. Anyway. Anyway, that thing's Gigamax transformation. Basically, it becomes a giant hand. And immediately, mm. my brain went, "Okay, hi, Okami. Here we go again with okay, this Pokemon scenario." Okay, Pokemon Sword and Shield, E T E R N A T U S, Eternatus. It's Eternius. No, it's not. I googled it and I'm reading it. Eternatus. Whatever. Anyway, you get my Don't point. Don't you whatever still. me. Google it. <laughs> I'm not gonna Google it. Not now. But yeah. Then that's stop telling me I'm wrong. I can see it. It's there. I'm reading it. We're, uh, can we move on now and explain that that's basically dark, evil incarnate in Japanese mythology? Yoink. You already did explain that. That's so I'm based that so you get now. That thing's not it. Satan. All I'm that trying to say is, is that thing's not Satan. That thing's evil incarnate. Satan's not evil incarnate. That's my point. You see, everybody gave me shit for thinking too deeply into what you said earlier, but now I have to sit here and put up with this. It doesn't sound like I knew what I was talking about. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Diverge. We're talking about um, Pokemon. Alright, well, um... Also, can everybody stop talking about us like we're not reading the stream chat, please? Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> Last I checked, yeah. my birth certificate doesn't contain they. Or it's he. A... Or it. Alright, so anyway. Castle Crasher seems to be working just fine. Yay! Hell yeah. Alright, um... But, um... Let's see if I can run Sonic Media. Going back to um, what I think, what is my favorite of Legendary? Hold on, Wheels. I'll answer your question in a moment. My favorite Legendary out of the three so far. Not counting the expansions yet, because we don't know what they are, what they can do, and all that stuff, and how they are can in I battle. Can install this? Um. Hmm. I know this sounds a little silly, but I really fell in love. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, folks. What? Um, what did you do? I did a... <laughs> I was testing out Sonic Mania, and I, I think I blew everyone's ears with the Sega sound. Oh, you're lucky that oh. I, hit my, uh, I didn't hear it. <laughs> Good thing. Sega! Ow. 
<laughs> uh, what the fuck? No, I was like, no, they'll be like, ow, as reaction to all the already in use. All right. You know what's really sad? What? Hmm. So, you guys remember when they updated the Sonic design? It was really good and everybody loved it. And then what? the people who were behind the Sonic redesign all got fired for no real reason. Mm. So now we're back to square one and I can't fucking respect Sonic anymore because it's ruined more people's lives. Oh boy, here we go again. Well, I'm mad. <laughs> I can tell. And um, they got laid off before fucking Christmas. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty fucked up. It's like, what kind of fucking despicable cunt do you have to be to choose the shittiest possible time to be the shittiest human being? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay, I was asked by Wheel of Steel what is my opinion of the cutest Pokemon? What is, in your opinion, the cutest Pokemon? Oh, Lord. You had to ask me that question. <laughs> I can't. Because there's so many of them that are, like, so many levels of cute, and there's a different type of definition of what is seen as cute. Okay, but, I can help. I know okay. Eevee is definitely a cute Pokemon, I'm not gonna lie. Eevee's, like, but that's considered biased because of the fact Eevee's one of my favorite Pokemon in general. That's almost everyone's okay. favorite Pokemon. Exactly. Yes. What? I, have the, I have the perfect idea to help you out. What? So, it's like, we're going to do, it's like, we're going to do this thing, like, picture all of these cute Pokemon, oh, jumble shit. them about in your head, and then the first one you land on, after I say go, is the one you choose. Ready? That's not going to help. <laughs> Alright, fine, I guess I'll just fuck myself then. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, I have a really good idea. Well, you, uh, fine. Anyway, I know somebody else asked me another Pokemon uh, question. Where was it? Oh, there you are. Derek DeBroni asked, which Pokemon you don't like and why? Mm. Garbodor, because it's a fucking trash can. <laughs> well, in the game, let's see. All right. That's the <laughs> Wheels of Steel is just like, no, that's cheating. Oh god, it's not a lie! <laughs> Dumbledore is literal fucking trash! <laughs> um... Uh, what is the one I did not like from Sword and Shield? Um... Hmm. Honestly, I don't really have a issue with any Pokemon that I've played throughout the whole game, so I got nothing. I don't really have a Pokemon I don't like. And sure, Zubats can be annoying, but eh. Um... But yeah, I, I couldn't really think of anything. Do, 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 do. Whoa, the pace in here, Jesus. <laughs> Motherfucker. Well, one thing for sure, when it came to when I was playing Sword, I definitely had a lot of fun, like, doing the curry thing, because that was fun. I was like, holy, okay, this is actually different, but at the same time, this does seem to fit the whole idea with, like, food camping, so good yeah, on you. He's moving around like he's David underwater. The only Pokemon I didn't like from Sword and Shield no! is the evolved form of Meowth. They changed his evolution from a mystical cat to a freaking <laughs> I'll have you know Wilson is a national treasure. He's talking about the new evolution for Meowth. In I know, Pokemon. Wilson. <laughs> oh, you named him Wilson? Well, I named Galarian Meowth Wilson, and then Sola named the evolved form to someone else. Uh -oh. I don't remember what it was, though. Um, 
Also, Derek, I didn't do a lot of make a lot of curry related stuff yet, so I'm still don't have my highest yet. So sorry, guys. I still think it's funny that they made a fucking Meowth evolution and gave it just straight up predator claws. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> Like, oh. I feel like it's like I feel like it should be walking around with a fucking Pikachu skull. Oh my god! <laughs> Fight is like fighting against the first Pokemon that even vaguely resembles a Xenomorph. <sighs> um, out of all the the, uh, the regional Pokemon that they have so far, I was very impressed with the idea of how they changed Mr. Mime's theme. They also giving him a an evolution too. Okay, I psychic. Not a common du dual typing, but not a bad typing. And his evolution. Okay, the evolution's cute. Man, <laughs> he looks like a quest. The, the way they design his character, he's like, okay, the, he looks like that old uh, comedy character in, I forget what the name of this character is. Hang on, there's one more thing he was I like, should... based off of like a classic old dude, like classic dude from the old um, TV shows back, way back. But I liked it. Let's see if that fixes anything. Also, I really love uh, Yamas' uh, new evolution for this. No. Nope. Uh, okay. Well. For Sword and Shield too, that thing looks really cool. Is that the one where it gets like a soul totem instead of a mask? I think so, and the evolution looks more like one of the uh, art of like one of the uh, pictures that you would see in ancient. Catch the UFO. In the walls and all that stuff. So yeah. Oh god. Okay, we all just steal. Why would I care if you love Cinderace? That's the fire Oops. starters evolution. Um I never expressed any disdain for Score Bunny or Cinderace or any of the fire starters. Matter of fact, I have no idea why any of this is relevant to me. Ow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I am eagerly, I, is like, I will eagerly await an explanation as to why no, no, that was no, correct. No, 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 no. Yes, D Birch, the new evolution for the for Yam Mask in Sword and Shield. Yes, yeah, that <laughs> one. I do like that one a lot. It looked really cool. Also, uh, I think I, I also have like a one of my Damn personal it. favorite Giga Max forms so far. I really love Grim Snarl. Grimstar looks freaking terrifying, but at the same time, I, I like how they pulled that second. off. Hang on. <laughs> Why didn't they make a Pokemon that looks kind of like... Whoa! Izuku Holy shit! Holy shit! Nido Raya from My Hero Academia instead. That would have been better. Instead, we have a hairy meow with that doesn't. Oh God, Sonic <laughs> Control. Well, I mean, I don't think normal Meowth shaves like at all. Actually, now I think about it, I don't think oh, any Jesus. Pokemon shaves. <laughs> what are you going on about, Jesus? If you looked in the chat, Golden, you would see why. Somebody is really salty about the new Meowth that's introduced in Garden. Oh, shit. Cancel. Okay, can I, can I ask a favor from everyone? Yes? Like, can we stop using the buzzword salty? <laughs> why? Well, <laughs> it's like, I feel like anytime someone shows even a really small, like, base disdain for something, it's just like, oh, they're salty about it. And it's like, no, just let them have their grievances. That's little? This dude literally is cursing out about that meow. Oh, God. <laughs> he said two um, things! Also, 
does it samurai does it samurai have to agree the evolution for Corsola was really interesting <laughs> rings rings and no, next time I just want to fucking say anything, then fine. Whoa, whoa, no! whoa. No. It's Don't more on the line. <sighs> Go ahead, Also, how does this ring running thing work? Um, I'm g okay, so from what I gather, the balls are supposed to, like, increase your stamina to potentially, um. Oh, God. Everything is, like, the, present the presentation on the screen is laggy a bit. No, the balls are supposed to increase your stamina to go from, like, Mach 1 to Mach 2 and shit. The rings give you time. They give you sec extra seconds. Right. And you're supposed to reach the emerald in that time. Yeah, you're supposed to catch the UFO. That's what they call it. Yeah. You know the weird shit that emerald. they come up with. Oh, no! Ugh. Honestly, I really am glad that they gave Ponyta some love for once. Because Ponyta has been lacking in love. So they gave, On that they day, gave Ponyta that... became Celeste. Yep. Oh, shit. Uh, Ponyta looks so fluffy! It's actually kind of sad when the most useful thing Celestia has ever ah! done is become a that Ponyta. That was a close one, damn. Oh, God! <laughs> God damn it, Watchers! <laughs> it's so mean, but funny at the same time. Well, I mean, I was going more for funny than I was for mean. <laughs> it's still funny to me, dude, so don't worry about it. Hmm. But I I was only slightly disappointed that they not make the evolution for rap, that of uh, Gallery and. I'll rap kiss rap my ass! Alicorn. What? Uh. That apparently I screwed up on the um that 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 bonus round. Okay. Well, that's new. The Gen Two starters need more love, though. We need um, more evolutions. I know, right? Damn it. The one thing I am looking forward to with the uh, for the expansions on the Pokemon game is well, that fuck. Charizard isn't going to be the only one to get a Gigamax. Thank God. Random Save side note, that would have been, like, really awesome to have an e like, a Steel-type evolution that's just, like, oh, Eevee in a really awesome Knight's outfit. Oh, yeah. This is like, we are the Brotherhood of Steel, Eevee edition. Ah, no! Ugh. I'm hoping it to be- I was hoping that either it would be a Steel or a Dragon-type, because they oh, both fuck, fuck, fuck. fit the theme of the, uh, what the region was based on. Or maybe but both. Yeah. Like, we had Umbreon and Espeon, who are, like, yep. light and dark. And then we have, like, a Dragon Eevee and a Knight Eevee to be, like, two sides of the same coin. So and this then, one. of course, and then the Knight Eevee happens to have a Fairy Eevee on their side, and then the Dragon Eevee's like, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> um... When I got, get the Galar Ho'unita, I want to name it after the unicorn from the last unicorn movie because everything called the pony so no, or anything MLP related is overkill. Damn, this is a, really hey, I said go for it, Desert Samurai. That's fit. Hey guys, I just thought of something really funny. What? What? If the law is like, if the law reason they give for certain Pokemon not being in Sword and Shield is like a social commentary on the whole, like, British border system. I can't wait to see what happens when Pokemon makes a game based on the US and oh. no Pokemon are allowed in. Apart oh, from fuck! Is there, like, only the fat, obnoxious, gun-toting Pokemon are allowed in the yep. region based and on the US? Go. Logic, I facepalmed so far, or so hard, you made my head hurt. Congratulations. <laughs> you gave me a headache. Well, now I'm just sad. <laughs> I was saying in the most sarcastic. 
I was saying it in the most sarcastic tone in the world, and you didn't even pick that up. <laughs> well, your sarcastic tone sounds kind of just the same, like mine. That's how you know it's hard to read me when it comes to my voice. Nobody can tell if I'm being sarcastic or being serious. <laughs> hmm. But, um... But yeah, Logic, that's just... That was not really that funny. That was kind of cold. I wasn't it. going funny. I know. The one region I'm Fucking hoping that... It, the one place I'm hoping they would base the region off of, aside from that idea, because while America would be one, that'd be way... way too difficult. Um... Let's see, which region? Logic is here. Didn't we get a Pokemon region of the USA being Unova because of how much it sucked? Ooh, Spice! Um, oh. I haven't, it's like, I haven't kept up with a lot of Pokemon, so I don't even really know what Unova is. I, uh... Um, like, which one was that? Okay, the so Unova is, uh, black and white. It's Pokemon black and white. That's the no! one with, uh... That's the one with Iris, isn't it? No. That one was Generation 3, Ruby and Sapphire. They won us. Oh, this is fucking the hell. Unova, black and white, that's basically when they, when they No, I mean the, their... like, no, the, I mean as in the companions. Like, no. the, from the anime. No, Iris didn't become a... Oh, wait, wrong Iris. You're talking about the other one, duh. Yeah, you know, yeah, the, the black girl, girl who was really into Dragon Pokemon. No! Yeah, that one, yeah, that was in black and white. Yes, yes, yes. But, um, that also is, like, the same, uh, region that, um, where they, cre where they created their versions of PETA. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, fucking <laughs> hell! Also, J12K100 Logic is here. Which Pokemon do you think is the best wife material? He has her in or Gardevoir, straight up. Gardevoir, straight up, fight me in real life. Don't actually fight me. I, I don't care enough. But yeah, Gardevoir. Okay, as for the fossil Pokemon, I'm sorry, I don't really I like the right fossils. into that. I don't have a favorite of the fossils. Sorry, guys. I don't like the fossil Pokemon because, like... I get that the whole plan was it's supposed to be dumb, it's supposed to be stupid, it's supposed to not make any sense how you can't put them back together properly, you can only make oh, these shit. stupid freaking mangles from FNAF ripoffs. But it's yeah. just like, there's a way of doing dumb and broken, and no. all Sword and Shield really did was make something so bad that it was impossible to be endearing. He's like, oh, oh, he's funny because, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you'd, think okay. the you'd think the whole football theme, and yes, football, not sucker, freaking sucker. I know which one you're talking about. Saying, yeah. I know what you're talking about. But yeah, Lucky, it's just like, worry. you'd think the whole football theme would be enough to irritate me because of how little I care about football and how much I wish they wouldn't shove it down my fucking throat. And this is coming from a guy who doesn't even play fucking Pokemon. <laughs> but no, the thing that irritates me the most is that everything in Sword and Shield is either just, you know, the main story or a bad joke. Aww. Am I sorry for saying that? No. <laughs> Ooh, that, okay, that was the region I was thinking about, um, what Kuzunik Chow says. A Greece-based region, and Ponyta would be a Pegasus. Hmm. That I would so right. love to pieces. I love Greek Greek mythology. That's like my second favorite mythology of all time. And seeing all the possible like creatures and such that they would base them off of, I'm that would get me all forms of giddy. And I think I know one other person who'd probably be just as worse. <laughs> Alright, so I tested show. And I think uh, anybody here who is very familiar with who knows how Josh is with it when it comes to his content, I think you can guess what would happen if he had if they made a Greece re uh, themed religion. Or that uh, region. Here we go. Okay, so You know what I meant. 
Hmm, robot a Greek means religion. Like, hmm. That'd be Shut interesting. Up. No, a Greece, a Greece themed region for Pokemon. Josh would definitely be all over it. Mm, a Transylvania themed region. He doesn't region strike me with... as the kind of guy who's big enough to cover the entirety of Greece. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't put it past him. Transylvania themed region. Um, I don't know. Oh, god damn it! It's frozen. Oh, my there favorite we Greek go. Myth or god or figure? Okay. Uh, my favorite Greek right. legend of the, in the Kratos. Party. Please say Kratos. I know Kratos doesn't actually exist, but please say it. Please. No. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I'm gonna be the. Re I'm gonna speak the honest truth, and it's not okay. him. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. It was just. Okay. I know. Hmm. I get. Okay. The one I can remember is the story between the origin of Pegasus and Medusa. Damn it. So those are my favorites. It's the, it involves the, it's basically both Medusa and the Pe and the Pegasus. Hmm. Yeah. Because basically, if I remember correctly, Pe the Pegasus was born through the blood of Medusa. I thought Pegasus was born from clouds and shit. That's Disney's take. Why is that Disney? <laughs> Disney. The, the reason why is because. The only way the Pegasus, that Pegasus was born is because somebody killed Medusa. Her blood spilled to God a purified damn it. water, Straighten and through up. that combination, it created the Pegasus. Okay, then Don't you're... ask how that works. It's mythology. So, Pe so Pegasus life force is born out of purified snake lady blood. Yeah. Also, wait, hold on. What's wrong with Medusa's blood? I thought she was cursed for being vain. No, she was cursed because of the fact she was uh, the, one of the gods, that, if I remember correctly, was jealous of her, of her beauty. Okay. So they, yes. So they cursed her by giving her snake hair and any guy, and if anybody ever stared into her eyes, they would turn to stone. Mm. And the only way that they could actually stop her was somebody had to use a... Um, mirror as a shield and she stares into the reflection and the reflection was like right off to her face and turning her into stone and they shattered her in the process but the, but how but for some reason she was still able to bleed wasn't she decapitated by perseus yeah i thought she yes. was decapitated yeah and clash of the titans was, anybody yeah and yeah. then her head was placed upon the aegis shield I think so, but I know like the blood that was remain that was coming off from her body flowed to a to water near to a river nearby, and the and it created the Pegasus. <laughs> whoa! 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 <laughs> Jesus! We do not deal with no wrong. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh damn it! The what Greek the... gods are kind of dicks. Yeah. Welcome to Greek mythology. It's almost, as if that's, it's almost as if that's the whole reason the God of War franchise exists. Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> because, it's like, because the creators knew it wouldn't be too far-fetched that someone like Kratos could be put in that position by the gods. Um... Actually, now no, I think about it, most religious mythos seems to peg the divines as kind... Well, any divine that has some semblance of power and is less implicit seems to just be a bad person. Yeah, pretty much. Welcome to Greek mythology. This is Sparta. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good one. The goddess is a curse. Her was Aphrodite, yeah. Okay, if Aphrodite is jealous of you... God damn it! ...capacity... Bish how? I know, alright? Also, can't gods project themselves as whatever they want? You know, being gods... Not in, 
Not in this case. There. Yeah. Finally. But, um, then again, Zeus, then again, out of all the gods, Zeus was the worst. He slept with like, a lot of women. Yeah. So it's like, if Aphrodite was able to transform Medusa into a freaking snake Perfect. lady, why couldn't she transform hey, herself? There we go. I don't think it worked. I don't know how, I don't know why. Just oh like, boy, it's a boss battle. Boss around the... Um, oh, also. This is gonna be a really dumb question, but is this Metroid? <laughs> no. It's 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 a it's it's definitely a replica of Metroid on many levels. It's like a mixture between Metroid and Mega Man X when you think about the uh, the health meters and shit. Because mm. yeah. they have like the little bars. But it, the game yeah. is called a robot named Fight. A robot named Fight. I know that's a really weird name. That sounds <laughs> like a bootleg title. It, it sounds like a generic knockoff of Metroid. I mean, it the does. game, lo it, it looks like a generic knockoff of it. I mean, you have the mechanics where you can uh, shoot anywhere and everything. Why did the carnivorous jellyfish explode into multiple... Oh, no, I died! Okay, I that's very know. much like Mega Man, the way he died. Do, 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 do. Oh, Jesus. Um, but that's exactly luckily... how Mega Man dies. Okay. Are you sure this isn't a fucking bootleg? <laughs> it's not a bootleg. Okay. Um. It's like, John Tron, uh... where was this in your bootleg video? <laughs> 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 pew, pew, pew. Oh, um. Hey. You should, uh... <laughs> yeah. Project. There, if you want to know more about really effed up. Uh, mythology. Check out the Japanese mythologies, especially with yokai. Some of them are really scary. Like the yokai, ha there was like a lot of them that are like really terrifying. Hmm. Um, I don't remember what the name of this particular anime that really does a great job of representing the actual yokai in, mytho in their mythology. But just, it, it, it is a really interesting anime. I just noticed something. Mm -hmm. The fucking projectiles that Fight is shooting are fucking just green jello stuff. Look at, look at it splatter as you shoot something with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to get that in the gentleman. The head, sound huh? effects they have are fucking ridiculous. I'm really happy I had this muted then. <laughs> So this is like Metroid meets Mega Man meets Alien. Oh, good God! I mean, Why? I mean, Metroid is inspired by Alien, symbols. but this is like straightforward Alien. I was about to say, why are you fighting a less cool Flood? Oh, um, what? fucking Halo! I don't. You know, know the wait. Have you played Halo? Yes, I did, but barely. Um, just barely played it. Oh. Do you yeah. remember the flood, the flood enemy type? Oh yeah, the the living corpse that are just like lumping around. Yeah, those things. Like, you're fighting uh, a less cool version of them. Derek the Brony, I forgot what the sim the four symbols in the Chinese uh, mythology were supposed to be. Sorry. Um. Oh, there were some interesting, like, things involving, uh, for a lot of the Japanese and Chinese, like, legends and myths and such. Like, one of the big examples, there's an area that you can go and feed deer in, in Japan. Like, legit, like, get up and personal with deers, because they're everywhere. Hmm. And the reason why for this, why they allow it, is because according to a lot Deers were considered messengers of God. Okay, thank you, Derek. Okay. I, those uh, four beings, I'm not familiar with them as much, but I do recognize the name, so thank you for clarifying that. So I wasn't sure. Yeah, there is a fox village, too, in Japan. 
An actual fuck village where you go and see foxes everywhere. So cute. Cute, 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 cute. cute. <laughs> There's like an actual island for cats. There's an island for rabbits. What the hell? What? Ew! Oh god. What? Oh. What? Watch the game and find out. <laughs> there's a okay, uh, uh... J122K. There's another one that does a good idea about to represent Japanese mythology. Play Okami. They literally split. Just by how the characters are, they kind of, they give you a hint about the whole mythology of, of Japan. Right off the bat. Oh, I really hate the way everything in this game looks. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not watching it. It's so gross. <laughs> I don't think there's an island of dogs. Wheel of Steel. I know there's an island of cats. And an island that has like rabbits everywhere, yeah. but I don't know about dogs. But there is an actual theme park that has dogs in them called One One Land. God damn it! Come on. That's another one of these face hugger looking things. Yeah, there's an actual theme park in Japan called One One Land. It's just a, it is. I actually seen some people uh, like do vlogs of it, and they are really cool. Like the puppies, all the dogs are everywhere. They're so the tender cut. Cute. No, I have not. Oh shit! Ugh, damn it! Also, Japan and China had their nice martial arts. Karate from Japan and Kung Fu from China. Though, which one is better? Honestly, both can be workable in every way. There, there is one is not better than the other. Okay, because, I don't know what uh, this like, does. I mentioned the Fox Village in Japan, dude. I'm already ahead of ya! Um... Ah! What the hell? Is he shooting was, shit uh, in me? Uh... Japan has, like, a lot of interesting stuff. I'm trying to remember. What the hell am I supposed to do over Oh! Here? There's an actual oh. area up Hello? in the mountains like where they have a hot spring and you can have legit apples up there like they have a special little hot spring yeah. area that's themed off of the apples ha nice try grows near the mountain it's <clears throat> so cool and the area itself was like so it was so gorgeous like you're sitting like you're in the like the old hot springs that, you know those kind you see in a lot of anime logic mm -hmm. they have one exactly like that in this particular hot spring but it's near, a, but it's in a mountain area, and they serve a lot of apple-related themed stuff. So how do I including, switch? Including like types of oh, apple cider and all that stuff. Okay. It's like, ooh, that looks so cool, but and so pretty. I want to see that spot and have fun oh, and enjoy the mountain. <laughs> Burn. If you're interested in Indian mythology, like Shiva. Ah! Oh, I know what you're talking about. Um. Slowly uh, kills I'm him. not as familiar the with fuck? the with Indian mythology. There's like a few you got myths a I have model. heard of that hmm. is relating to the Indian mythology. Because if I remember, if memory serves me right, they did they follow the religion of Buddha. If memory serves right. I think. Yes, it is India. Yes, India. So they did, they also had the Buddhist religion. No. So I'm Urgh. a little bit familiar with some of the Buddhist stories and whatnot, so there's that. One of the stories that I do remember was actually you referenced in one of the Zelda games. God, the game is so fucking gross. <laughs> when I visit Ow! Where there Fucker. Are a lot of trees hey, get back here. Deep. Okay, J12K. No! Is pro uh. you're, probably you're probably thinking of the cherry blossoms that grow in springtime in Japan. 
Oh, so if I pulled it down, I could just shoot at, like, just shoot whenever. Okay. Oh, Hindu mythology. Yeah, I am not as familiar with it, but I know they, that the people in India did follow a lot of, of the religion of Buddha, which did get transferred up into Japan and China, so they're, that's how I know a little bit of that. Um... Burn! Time to cook these fuckers. One of the, uh... <laughs> Okay, one of the stories... <laughs> you sound so grossed out, Logic. Are you okay, because Logic? The, because the everything about this game you're playing just looks like someone had a nightmare one day and decided they just had to share it with everyone. <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> well, it wouldn't be too off. Like someone, found, it's like someone found something that... Can, Live leak wouldn't let you upload. <laughs> and if you don't know what live leak is, keep it that way. Yeah, that's not to know. Anyway. If you do search live leak, I'm not responsible for what you find. <laughs> so, you know, don't, idiot. Just your trust the one who is in full on paid. Oh, fucking hell. I'm gonna be honest, the um, only reason I know what live leak is because I've watched people do the Reddit 50 50 challenge and fail oh, a lot. Oh, good God. Have you seen the Netflix show Cells at Work? I have not, but I am familiar with that anime. Mm. It's actually really interesting and kind of cute. So, okay, while I have not here? seen the actual anime myself, I do know what it is about. So, okay, there you that go. Hey, you're shooting fire instead of goo now. Yeah. So I'm watching these fuckers get fried. Burn, baby! Oh, yeah. Burn, bitch! So do these, so do these crimes against the basic law of creation have names? Uh, I don't know the game long uh, well enough. I just found this game, played around with it, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to test this game out. Oh. Huh. So it does extra damage to them, like, slowly, bit by bit. Yeah, it does, um... It does lasting damage. Like, burning Yeah. Damage. That's pretty cool. Ah! Hmm. These guys are not... Oh, that's good. Okay, I'm glad to hear it, Derek. What happened? Okay, um... He mentioned, speaking of anime, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, this game got positive reviews. Okay. Like, yay! Yay. Ow! I am curious about it. It was like, oh. I'm sure Bliss would want to play the hell out of it. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I want to play too, but I don't think they have it for the Switch. Okay, that is cool. If you give yourself a little bit, uh, there's some barrier in areas that I had to, like, shoot a fire thing with, and you can just see it disintegrate. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's... Logic, this game is like a video of how to basic. Um, well, do you not like how to basic? No, I'm just saying J12 said that. We're getting the Twitch chat. Oh. He said that this game is like a video of how to basic. Okay, I don't get the joke. I don't, I don't get I the don't joke. Think I get it. Magical Star is asking, is this, the, is this gonna be the fire rod all over again? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Watching people disintegrate and burn alive, that's satisfying. Oh yeah, fucking Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is one of the first burn, uh, bitch. Dragon Ball Z games to go all the way to boo. For a while. The only, like, the only other game that I remember that goes further than boo Ow. is uh, Tenkaichi 3 or Bu no, Budokai yeah. 3. There's Budokai no, 3 it, and then there's Xenoverse, uh, Xenoverse 2. Yeah. And yes, I know there's also Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Yeah. They were like the only few, like, a few that did that, so. Ooh, uh, movie-related DLCs game was fun. 
I'm surprised that Dragon Ball Z Kakarot doesn't go well. I know it's Dragon Ball Z, so it's probably not going to go into Super, but I'm surprised they didn't do that because like the perfect thing would be a would be like playing through the Broly movie like properly instead of just an added parallel quest in Xenoverse 2. Ah! Okay, I would love spike. to play I would love to play through a video game version of the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. Oh god, day a dimensional. What did dimensional say? At, la at least Golden Fox doesn't have the golden rod that Logic made fun of during the Legend of Zelda game. Dude, everybody made a joke of the fire rod. I don't think I don't think I made a joke about the fire rod. That wasn't. It was too easy. No, that was. Were you even around no, when I was, was playing that game? No. I, no. Yeah. I know the one who did make that joke was Soul. Yeah, I was right. Budokai Three did go to Boo and then to that one. Yeah. It did, and then Budokai Tenkaichi 3 also did the same thing. Because Budokai Tenkaichi was, like, update in Budokai, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and Budokai 3 also added a bit of Dragon Ball GT, just oh, only oh, by oh. a bit. Yeah, you know, that thing where the only good things to come out of it were Super Saiyan 4 and the Dragon Punch. <laughs> What do those chip things do? Maybe the Budokai Tenkaichi 2 and 3. I oh, it was both of those two. I did like Tenkaichi 3 because it actually had the Goku GT version when he turned back to the kid. Oh, when he was a kid. Okay. Yeah, I know what he's talking about. Also, disclaimer, I don't have any opinions, positive or negative, regarding GT. All I will say is I do like Super Saiyan 4 and I do like Dragon Punch. The only thing I don't like about Super Saiyan 4 is that I like, uh... Fucking... I like... I don't want to see how to basic. There's, like, I kind of wish Super Saiyan 4 followed the whole, like, you know, Super Saiyan golden hair thing. Eh. I can understand. I understand that Super Saiyan Four was supposed to be his own animal, literally. <laughs> I get it. In fact, I think they went as far to say that Super Saiyan Four was just a straight-up different species of Saiyan, which is why Goku turns into That's his right, older it. form when he turns into it. Yeah. Also, Dimension Traveler, I'm looking forward to the sequel to Breath of the Wild. I'm waiting for. I am excited. I still have yet to play the first Breath of the, the Wild. I'm starting it actually. I just started playing Breath of the first one. Mm. Hmm. I remember. Oh I remember seeing God. what looked like game art for something that looked like a Breath of the Wild too. But I thought it was fan art or like something fan made because they had a Ganon that wasn't evil, or something that looked like a Ganon that wasn't evil. That might have been a fan-made story. There's like there was, there's like Zelda and Link were there, and there was this third guy who looked to me like Ganon, but he wasn't. Hold evil. up, was he shriveled? Was he shriveled up? Almost looked like he was dead. No, it's like he actually looked okay. kind of alright, like what you'd imagine a good guy Ganon would look like. Okay, so that definitely is not an actual. Game that's made like, have there, has there been anything about Zelda Breath of the Wild 2? Sorry. Um, they haven't updated for the sequel of Breath of the Wild yet, but so far... What was that initial teaser material about it? There was a teaser about it to, uh, as like a... because the game... but the game wasn't final yet. The game hasn't made like a recent video about it for a while. Oh, um, back over here again. Um, you might want to look it up because it's the only video they got so far for Breath of the Wild 2. But for so far from what we have seen of it, this game is going to get darker than comparison to some Zelda games who, really, who were already dark. This game's probably going to be the most darkest one, apparently. According to the creators, they were trying to make it really dark. Okay, early you mentioned something about a shriveled up Ganon. Yes. So that was a thing in the Breath of the Wild 2 thing? Yep. Okay, That's so happening. I think 
Okay, so I think the good guy Ganon I found was that one because I'm starting to see, I just searched up and I'm starting to see stuff in reference to a rehydrated Ganon. Oh, yeah, that's probably a fan-made part of it because it's like a what-if scenario. <laughs> Maybe. I, I don't think that's an actual thing. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, I think to mention, I think to mention answering your question, Fan made comic of Breath of no, the Wild I'm not talking about comics. Being... I'm talking about like, you know, stuff that looks like it was made in the game engine, like a trailer or a gameplay teaser or something. No, you know, when they show off those demo missions in games? No, they never did that yet because it was still in development when they announced it. So. Okay. Yeah. Fucking nasty. They haven't yet. My brain, <laughs> my brain doesn't fucking work apparently then because it could have sworn that was a thing. No, not yet. And Wheel of Steel, it, it, it probably will likely be very uh, considered dark comparison because I've played all the Zelda games that have, especially like the ones that are like 3D Zelda games. And at the time, Majora's Mask was considered the darkest game that, that they have done in the series. Twilight Princess was dark, but it wasn't as dark comparison to Majora's Mask. So probably not as cryptic creator, either. Hmm. Yeah. So if the creators are actually making this game darker than Majora's Mask, then there's going to be some crazy stuff. I almost pushed right there. <laughs> okay, there is a question I do have, because I'm looking at a first look trailer from Nintendo 2019's E3 on the yes. sequel. Yes. And... Wait, what's up here? What is well, it? They actually give you quite a bit to look at. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm wondering, does this pl take place actually after Breath of the Wild, or is this, like, a prequel is, that leads up to... They have, they have flat out said this is a sequel. So this does take place after. From the looks of it, it does look like it's going to be a, the end, like, the second part for this game. I would not be surprised. Ew. Okay. Is it a boss battle? Is it like a new like you know, is it like a new oh, reset or is it like, you know, multiple Jesus weeks and Christ. stuff? I don't know, but from what oh I'm guessing God. and from what I've I've been like looking at like what what happened? Golden what? What what? Look what? at the stream screen and then you'll find out. Well I can't do that because that's Hmm. Hold on. I must have missed it. Fuck. Yeah, no, it's just like if it's Somebody will probably clip it then. then. Okay. But yeah, like, if it's taking place after the first, then, like, there's a lot of questions I have. Like, uh -huh. isn't Zelda dead? <laughs> no, Zelda did not die in the game. I guess in the only Zelda... Wild, Zelda... So, this, so this isn't another timeline reset. They're still on the same timeline. Yes. Ugh, so, God, this seems nasty. So is this? Oh, Ganon? I see what you mean now, Golden. Uh, so is this? Yeah, the the puke beam. Uh, yeah. So is this Ganon or whatever it is the same as the Calamity Ganon? Okay, this is leading to a theory that I found from somebody that makes it so makes a lot more sense comparison for what they are explaining for the sequel. Yep. What we face in the first one. That wasn't the real Ganon. Well, I know. It was Calamity Ganon. No, I understand like that all the Ganons that... are different. Ow! No, 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 no. Not all the Ganons are different. According to the actual lore of the game series, all those versions of Ganon we see is still the same Ganondorf. Oh. It's all one person. The only ones that became an incarnation different versions, Zelda and Lynch. That's it. I Ganondorf see. remains the same. What we saw in Breath of the Wild, Calamity Ganon I was this game actually long enough, Ganon. I better stop. <laughs> it was a pro it was in a a projection of a monstrous form of a monster that was taken form through the malice and hatred from demise itself. So, Ganon. <laughs> no. No. I thought the, I thought the whole point of Ganon was that he was a projection of demise. 
Oh, he was basically his hate, like the part of the hatred and revenge of demise being taken for like the spirit of it takes form takes the form in those into a living being's body. Basically from what I'm seeing, the stuff that you see spewing out of this corpse like body of Gandor was the spirit trying to form. Because mm. something of because by the way that projection of that hand looked, it looks like it was holding him in place and this Gandalf looks like he's in driving pain. The way he's well, I mean, he looks like he's dead, or he looked like he was dead until he no, the way, was No, the way he's dead. positioned. Okay, if you looked at the way he was positioned and I know, the, yes. I know. Yeah. So, basically, he is suffering constantly. This whole time, and it seems he's not technically dead. No. Because it's just like in the same case as the... Chicas, when you go into the shrines and you see these chicas, they look yes. like they're technically, they look like mummified versions of their characters. They're using the similar cast tactic with Ganondorf, keeping him alive this whole time. So then, what was Calamity Ganon? Because, like, people can say it's like, <laughs> oh, it's just like a magical manifestation of Ganon. And I'm just like, so it's not Ganon, but it is Ganon, but it's a piece of Ganon, but it's also not, and it's a thing that just isn't Ganon, or it's Demise, but it's also not okay. Demise, but it's Ganon. Okay. And it's a Gerudo, but it's also not. And it's okay. also a the best, way, <laughs> the best way I could explain what Calamity Ganon was supposed to be and what was shooting out of that Gan uh, Ganondor, that was Ganondor's anger go. and rage and hatred of uh, what the he's saying, royal man, family it of Hyrule... doesn't make any sense. It's just like... <laughs> All is like all of is like all I'm hearing is that all of these Ganons are Ganon, but they're also not because they're a manifestation of something that Ganon is. And I'm just like, what's the no. next thing? Ganon's teen angst? No, no, <laughs> no. That's not what I meant. They aren't a projection. Those versions of Ganon from the previous yeah. games are not separate versions that has been constantly reborn. It's all the same dude. I'm starting to think that in Breath of the Wild, all of these different things that have the name of Ganon are just like. Yes, I'm aware. I gotta play that one. Fucking. I'm starting to think that it's like the Joker from like the current DC canon, whereas like there are multiple Jokers, there are multiple Ganons. Like. Uh... Maybe after so many defeats from Link, it's just like, right, more Ganons. Just, I have a. I'm having. A, I. I'm really not good at explaining this best. Wheels of steel. I will stop when I'm dead. Wheels of steel is eternity. Welcome to oh. die. <laughs> my hey, my head hurts all the time. So. Right, Sorry. Okay, <laughs> okay. Nope. Not going there. I will not I, deny like, the just, lore is pretty confusing. I'm still playing the original Breath of the Wild, no big split. How many years has it been? It, the game has came the game came out right when the game system came out. Oh, no. So it's been a while. Ow! Was... God damn these bubbles, man. Okay, that's a pit. Like, the also, burning, we he... do not speak of those games in this dojo! What games? Weakest Ganon of all is Wand of Gamelion and Faces of Evil? That sounds like a it's fan like... fiction! Yeah, those like, are I, like, those are the uh, C the the C O M versions of Zelda series. C O M. What does that stand for? Com. Com. Uh, okay. Look, okay, look it up and you'll see what I mean, Golden. Oh no, but, it's yeah. those one Golden Dawn. It's those ones. Sounds like no, some kind of neat, like sounds like some kind of myth or something. I can't look it up at the moment. Oh no, S, uh, C D I. My bad. Oh C D. Oh wait, is it the game that has like great? I can't wait to go fight Cannon. I'm yes. so hungry. I can eat a of uh, Yeah, I you hit. know those. One. <laughs> I love the <laughs> Desert <laughs> Samurai's like C D I Zelda games don't fucking count. I agree. Those are nothing but abominations! They must beg! Ow! 
Yeah, no, that is like the point I'm trying to make is that with freaking with every angry red thing okay. in his grandmother having the title of Ganon, I'm starting to wonder if Ganon is still a guy or if it's just a title that's given to lesser monsters. Up until actual Ganondorf shows up. You know what I mean? Like, I'll give you an no, no, hold up. I'll give you an example of what I mean. So, in Destiny, there's there was this... I am not going to last long here. There was yep. this guardian Didn't who last. turned evil, or like fell to the darkness at some point, and started calling himself Dredgen. Kids and Chow, a get, bunch of, a get bunch that of other fucking message out of this dojo. A bunch of other people were inspired by him, and they started using the name Dredgen as a title. And I'm starting to wonder if some of these like dark evil monster things just take the title of Ganon and actual Ganon as of Breath of the Wild 1 was still dead or still locked away in his suffering oh shit you know what I mean oh god damn it I'm it's getting nice. it I'm just like saying okay I'm just gonna like let him say it but I'm just gonna say this it's best to not question it now because the lore of Zelda no, can get trying... more confusing than it needs to be god damn it well, I'm just I'm just trying to make it more interesting because like the implication of just like a bunch of dark creatures taking the title of Ganon, and it's just like wow, these dark, evil, colossal it's things are less. Than... It's not no! Possible. Damn it! It's all one being. <sighs> Wait, that was okay. what I was asking before, and you just wouldn't sit. <laughs> You were trying. You were making no, it more I, no, I was when asking, you were explaining it. I was asking before if all of those things were just the same guy, and then you just kept saying something about yes. the original Ganon and how they're projections of his okay. hatred. I don't no, care no, if I'm no. overthinking it. No, I was. I wasn't I'm talking about of that. Telling me shit, I already know. I get it. I'm overthinking it. Wah, wah. Wait, no, logic, logic, logic. Let me let me put in this thing. Oh, fuck. Okay. It's like every that time I open my mouth in the stream, fuck. Ow! Can I Damn bubbles. Fuck! Sorry. What I was talking about wasn't what led to this confusion. I was talking about from the from Breath of the Wild 2. Son and of Breath of the Wild in general. Bitch. No! But I thought Ow. Breath of the Wild 2 was taking place after Breath of the Wild 1. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. <laughs> No, you didn't! You were thinking that all the previous Duck. versions of Ganon God are from bubbles. the previous game for the separate versions! No, I was talking about what the Ganon uh... things from the first game were, if Ganon was, you know, not around. You're talking about- okay, you're talking about the blight now. That's what they're told. That's what they're told. Yeah, and also the calamity no, thing. Because I, I remember it. the I remember <laughs> the blight I remember the blights in the fucking you know, first the great machine. And the first Breath of the Wild, they were yeah. considered they were the basically the the pieces of the of Calamity Ganon that controlled the divine beast. Yes, thank and you. And also killed the champion. No, no, no! Okay, so all of these things point. were pieces of the Calamity. The Calamity itself was a projection of Ganon. Ganon himself was still locked in whatever that thing was. Yes. And then they're only just finding him in the second game. Yes. So Calamity Ganon is just a small part in a whole other beast. Christ, game, have some Basically, fucking fireballs! The way I was seeing it, what we thought, what we meant to hope to learn, that Calamity Ganon was a uh, form of type of illusion from Ganondorf. Like, as a decoy. It's pretty fucking hard for an illusion. <laughs> yeah, no, right? yeah, I'm gonna take a lot of hits here. Um... But from what I've... What I'm seeing so far from the sequel, they... Princess and Link Ugh. did not know how the why Calamity Ganon was oh. in the, under the in the ca underneath the castle this whole time. And also the the Gerudos did mention in one of the uh, game that ever since Calamity Ganon they never had it they never had another male born into the How long does it tribe, take before they disappear? All female, you know? Mm. So basically it is implying Gandalf's still alive. If they had not had a, if they not buried another male Gerudo in a while, how do they Which, have kids? 
I'm not gonna even question that. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother line. thinking about it. Again, and there I, they go. Like, simply because I don't want to say Ganon's name anymore. God damn it! Is like I was trying uh, to think I, of no, something more simple. No, no, no. Wait, I simple. remember now. Okay, I remember now. The Gerudos actually go seeking Hylian men when they want to bear children. <laughs> yeah. That is the funniest shit. <laughs> That's basically what they do if they want to have babies. They go looking for the Hylian men to do it. <laughs> <laughs> run, 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 run! <laughs> but from, um... But basically from what I've learned through, uh, looking at this myself, they... One of the Grenudas did point that out, that since Calamity Ganon, they have not been able to claim to have enough... I had to be on the screen child. to shoot it. Yes, I'm Because all the Hylians are dead. Or no. Most of the no, there's still some Hylians, but no, it's mainly because... Ganondorf is still technically alive. Son of a bitch. And in the seek and in run, the run, 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 run. we find out that it was true. He's alive, and we find out why he's still alive, and Damn how it. he's still alive, and why he's under Hyrule Castle this whole time. Because it was pretty clear he's under the castle. Ow! Uh, yes, yeah. thank you. Checkpoint. Now that I think about it, that does make more sense because Calamity Ganon, as well as Calamity Ganon's <sighs> massive boar form at the end, weren't Gerudos mm -hmm. or anything. Oh god, 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 oh Fucking go, go, damn it! It's like if you don't like the conversation. It's like if you don't like the conversation, then I don't know. Um, I keep doing it to um. <laughs> the way you said that, dude. I get it. I'm actually trying to think of something God at least semi-genuine I can say in response to someone basically trying to tell me to shut up because they're bored of me. Um, yeah, no. Find someone else to watch is the best I've got. <laughs> Have you attempted the second quest of I refuse, Damn it. Like, I refuse the refuse to be spoken down to by anyone, least of all someone who's just mad because I'm talking about something I enjoy talking about. Yeah, thank you. Um... Are you, uh, DeBirch, are you talking about the first Breath of the Wild or first Zelda game? Like, yeah, game I'm not going to bother one. getting that. I'm just going to go ahead and grab this instead. Phew! Because if you're talking about the first Zelda game, like Zelda 1, God I haven't it. played that game in years. So I don't know anything about the second quest thing. But if you're talking about in Breath of the Wild, I just started Breath of the Wild. Yeah, no, I haven't played that game in years, so I don't really remember the second quest thing. Like, uh, probably the one that God I know damn, about this is more is my mom or my dad. Because I, the first Zelda game I've ever officially have played by myself, by the by, was Ocarina of Time. J12, um, Jesse already said that Gerudo women saw out highly in men. Yes. Together. They sort they hard. seek out Hylian men if they want to bear children. Hmm. Yeah. It has been Damn like it. confirmed way back in Ocarina of Time. Hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. Like Nintendo are probably just sick and tired of people asking that question. He's just like, but how though, and Nintendo? And Nintendo is like, Ugh, they go out and bang humans, fuck. <laughs> or else people. Others. They go up. They go after the others. So stop asking this question. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. I wonder how um. Fuck. Holy <laughs> crap! What the hell? <laughs> What did Wheel of Steel As say? She Gerudo, Gerudo women, women are thoughts. thoughts. That's all. <laughs> you know, because the Gerudo women go and, yeah. God damn it. Hylian, 
they see Kylie and men if they want to bear with, if they want to bear children. And yeah, they it, that's right. Uh, Atelier or Bronnie said they uh, said they are based off of the Amazon, which makes a lot of sense since they're all. Do women. you reckon? Do you reckon Gerudos have a hard Fuck. time or an easy time getting together with Kylie and men? <laughs> nope, they are natural drivers. Have you looked at their butt? Have you looked at their figures? God Holy damn it! Crap, they are dang. What did you just stop yourself from saying, Jess? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um, I was saying, <laughs> I, was, I was saying, no, they won't have trouble Jump. because those women are. Jump. Hot. And then run. And, uh. If you looked at a, if you looked at the ah. pictures of all the Gerudo women, you could definitely say they'd be attractive. Hmm. So, they're appealing also, something to the else eyes. I found like really, really funny about Breath of the Wild. Hmm. Even after doing the quests for the Gerudo and helping with their divine beast, you're still not allowed in unless you dress like a woman. Jump. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Seriously? Ah. I... Come on, get it, get it! Oh, I had the fucking oh, opportunity. Uh, also, now that I that think means... about it. Surely, once the main one finds you out during the quest, your cover's blown anyway, right? Uh, I don't know. Or did she just not tell anyone because of your assistance to the people? She probably never said anything. Hmm. Yeah. Also, Come on. Um... Wheels of Steel with the obvious questions. Would you have sex with a Gerudo woman? No. <laughs> <laughs> Golden with an admittedly unexpected answer. What if Keep what if Keyframe dressed up as a Gerudo I don't know. you don't make me because question my base. sanity here. I'm already questioning my sanity here. Golden, the Gerudos are basically women of the desert, meaning they dress in harem. Yes, I know what you're talking about. Ah, sorry. <laughs> he plays, he to... plays the games. He knows. I've, I had to fight a few Garuda women from Ocarina of Time. Ah. So, just yeah. picture, try pick your keyframe dress as one of them. Like I said, <laughs> Wait, don't hold. don't make me question my sanity. I'm already questioning my sanity oh, from this hi. fucking game. Wait, no, Golden. You've already dressed as a Garuda, remember? The harem outfit. <laughs> Yes, I hate myself for making that joke. You're welcome. <laughs> Whoa, that was a close one. Yes, That's finally. Asking me. I agree on the Garuda woman, even though getting in the town in Breath of the Wild, you have to Ow, get, son uh, of a woman. God damn but bitch. in Ocarina of Time, you get a pass. That is true. So ba uh, basically, I think the case for you is yeah, the chief oh, of the okay. Garuda's never told them right, what so happened or again. never told them like who he was. Huh. That's crazy. That uh, that's uh, that's probably the only the only logical solution to the situation. Okay, though. I'll go for the checkpoint. <laughs> ah! Um. D Birch Golden already has two images of him in a harem outfit. He's already he's already got artwork of him dressed as a Gerudo's wife. <laughs> a lot of people keep comparing that, but it's supposed to be like based off of like Princess Jasmine and Shantae. We know, no, we know. Golden. We're just we know we're just messing with you. That's it. Um. Damn well, it. in all honesty, if I had a picture like what, like if any of the stuff that um, is considered stuff I want to wear. I really would not have said that to wear the jewelry that the Ritos, not the, not the Ritos, the Zoras wear. Because the jewelry in Breath of the Wild, their jewelry was really pretty. Like, I'm Damn a sucker it. for silver with sapphire. They are beautiful together. Well, I mean, I've always found that in any video game, they always find a way to make jewelry look like just stunning. Well, true. I love the Zora the Wild. I like that they gave them all unique colorations and not stick to just one color like they did with our six times. They gave them all a uh, different color. Ah! Shit, 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 shit! Oh, I was and so they also close. have them look more like different species of creatures from the 
the like different species of fish from the looks of it. Because Misa, if I remember, mm -hmm. her appearance was similar to, I believe, a, a red snapper. I think I could yeah. be wrong. I yeah. wonder. I wonder how like. I wonder what it'd be like if the older Zelda games got like remastered with the new Breath of the Wild engine. Like, imagine playing Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask in the Breath of the Wild engine. No, Ooh, with all of the Bre time. with all of the Breath of the Wild's fucking models and textures and abilities and stuff. It would be cute to see a little kid version of that of Breath of the Wild Link, so I'm hmm. not gonna lie, that would be cute. Small I Breath of the Wild Link and Small Breath of the Wild Zelda would just be the most adorable thing. Yeah, ah. yeah, 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 cute! Yeah. Also, also honestly, I definitely... Also, I agree I just... with the... Sorry. <laughs> also, I just want an excuse to see what a modern version of Majora's Moon would look like. <laughs> Just to see if it'd still be scary. Yeah, fuck you! Oh god, probably you. will be. Also, I definitely have to agree about oh. this. Prince the Don is adorable and fun. I love that guy. <sighs> Which one is Prince the Don? He's the Zora Prince, who's like the most supportive character you could ever imagine. He's hmm. so encouraging. He has, like, the way his overall design is looks, he's based off of a shark. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen enough for today. Like, didn't, Bre didn't Breath of the Wild have the... Had the what? I'm sorry, I just caught up to what golden saw. Oh. <laughs> Wait, Eric Rogers voiced Sedan? Yeah, I mean, didn't Breath of the Wild have that one Zora chick that was like super into Link? Yeah, that's Mifa. His sister. And then she. That's really sad because like all of the I Divine know. Beast pilots died. Yeah, okay. Here's something funny that this is actually legit because I was like, I did spoil myself, but I was already aware of the storyline anyway. So I did watch the cutscenes involving Mipha, especially all the way to the end after you free her, her spirit from the blight monster that you fight. I'm not gonna lie. I cried! I cried! Hmm. I started crying when at the at that end of that cutscene with Mipha. I was like, my heart it hurt. Hmm. But now that okay, now that he meant okay, now that Bertrand mentioned this, I need to look this up. No wait, Bill Rogers. Bill Rogers voices the Don. No, but I still I need to look this up. Keyframe in a Zora outfit. Now people uh, are just asking for keyframe in a bunch of like female Zelda character outfits. I mean, <laughs> it wouldn't seem off. Golden dressed as Link. I mean that's 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 part of the. Never mind. <laughs> I still think it's funny that I made it is like I made a golden fox, like link outfit complete with a master sword that I painstaking. I hate myself, and then fucking in the Team Fortress Two analysis anarchy thing, I get very immediately and super efficiently outdone. <laughs> When they dress golden up as Link, it looks so much better. But you know, it isn't depressing at all. <laughs> okay, um... The Birch, I'm looking this up right now. And who you originally said was his voice actor was not him. Is that Colonel Lewis? Yes, yeah, he's the only one, yeah. Okay. The guy who voiced Sedan in Breath of the Wild is named Jamie Mortello. <laughs> Mortello, Mortello. Oh, God. What? Yeah. Now what? Hold on. Hold on. Will the Steel asks So, Golden Fox, if your link in keyframe is Zelda, is Blissey Midna? <laughs> Midnight. Midna. Midna. Oh. 
the twirl the sassy twirly from Twilight Princess. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that means that means when Golden Fox Link in Twilight Princess turns into a wolf, then Bid Nerd is just taunting them <laughs> just all the time. It's like, ah, I the mean, tables have turned from our Tetris days. I mean, it wouldn't seem off. It's so funny. But the thing is, Blissey, the other to the rest of them. Okay. But at the same time, that still would be funny. <laughs> oh, I wonder which. Uh, I'm trying to think like which one I probably would. Oh, I already know. Never mind. I already know. I already know who which of those other characters that would be. Hmm. Malin. I think I ran out of uh, games to uh, test stream. I mean... Oh, God like, dang it, we go to. There's like a few other ones that I'm willing to test. There's some that I tried out before I started going live. Um, I tried Stick Fight, and I like I, I can't keep up. Like The game is just too challenging. <clears throat> oh, dear. I think, the, I think with Stick Fight, it all depends. It's less on how more of who you play with. Because depending on the map, the pacing, like, it really ramps up if there's, like, if the people you're up against are, like, you know, they play it really fast. Well, even then, like, it's it, it's just, it, like, most of the game, it's just, it's incredibly luck-based. I mean, I could see why some people find it hilarious. Um, it is pretty fucking funny. <laughs> I mean, it, it is pretty funny. The other thing, I don't know if I was able to, like, window it. Because it went to full screen. It's one of those games. Hmm. Yeah. Why not Quiplash or something? I already streamed Quiplash before. So there's like no need to test that out. Um, sure then. I've already tried Hollow Knight. It lagged up. Um, mm -hmm. Meh. Hollow Knight is fucking is a neat game. It's a hard game, but it's a neat game. Oh, it is a neat game. I would have. I would love to stream it. It's just, it lags. Yeah, you might need a stronger uh, computer for that. Yeah, that's something I'll be aiming for. Um, so Shovel Knight. So far, people said that they didn't see any lagging. Hmm. Maybe that's just me. Solar is Ganondorf. Maybe. No, you know, like who would be Ganondorf? Because I don't think Solar would be Ganondorf. Solo would hey, be um, that. Solo would be that one Rito guy. Not oh, really. you're talking about. Are you talking about Rivali? Is he the one that was with that divine beast? Eliora's yes. impa. Yeah, that would make too much sense. Yeah, I could see Eliora being impa. Magical star. The problem was is that it lagged out the call. There was like nobody to interact with. Yeah. Hmm. Currently, there was four. I don't know. Like, ever play Kirby's, bleh, 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 Kirby's Dream <laughs> Course? Um, I played Kirby's uh, Kirby Superstar. Hmm. Me as Linko? No. <laughs> no. So, Silver Quill uh, would be not. No, Silver Quill would not be Navi. Um, so Tingle? Silver Quarry Tingle? Aeon is Ganondorf? Let's th I don't want to fight Aeon, though. Okay, I, kn is like, I know someone who could be Navi, but I'm not saying it in the stream chat. I'll put it in the like the server private room for you guys to read and laugh at, but I'm not saying it to the rest of the call, and you'll understand why when you read it. Okay. Oh, no. Silver would be silver easy pot. <laughs> God. No. Oh God, no. Okay. Let's see. No, actually, I would think Silver Quill. Silver Quill would be Ganondorf. Good. And Silver would be. <laughs> What? No, silver would be a cuckoo. Just one, <laughs> so, 
There's like he'll be the one cuckoo that no other cuckoo would rally behind. <laughs> but he's also like Aww. extremely resilient. <laughs> Silver Quill is a giant cuckoo. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't. Too hard. The Kichi can be okay. the Skull Kid? Well, who Kichi? would fit? Kichi. No, uh, that's what I said. Kichi? Yeah. Seriously? What about a Mighty Switch Force? What the hell is Mighty Switch Force? I have no idea. No idea. No. That would well, be like No, a... no. Josh would be the Silver Quill from um uh the moon. The moon? Josh? Oh no. <laughs> if uh, I'm if coming jo for your doom. Oh I'm no, sure you know what would be you know be even better? You what? know that you know that one noise that Josh makes when he's like super angry, like he did in that one thing where he was fighting that guy from Kingdom Hearts and lost. Oh, oh. You know, yeah, imagine, like yeah! Imagine if, as Majora's Moon, he was constantly making that noise on his way down towards the people of Terma. <laughs> It's just like the it's like the moon's getting closer and closer and the faint <laughs> starts getting louder and more clear. Alright, let's look this up. Mighty switch force. It'd be like that it'll be like that song from Rick and Morty that's constantly screaming. Da 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 whenever it loads. <laughs> Mighty Switch Burst is a puzzle platformer developed by Way Forward. Oh, Microsoft Windows. Wait, is it available on Steam? I gotta look this up. <gasps> because it's made because it's made by uh, Way Forward. Like I have a gut feeling it may not work because uh, Way Forward is way too advanced. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I just remembered. Fucking. They put Skyrim on the Switch, and didn't they add like exclusive, like an exclusive fucking Link outfit and Master Sword to that version of Skyrim? Uh, I don't know. I'm not, I, I I'll look it up, but I, I'm not 100 percent sure. Also, random okay, side so note: How on. awesome is that? What? Like in the Switch version of the Elder Scrolls, Link is canon. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't seem off. Link's killed a bunch of dragons. <laughs> what would that be like if, like, all of that, like, Hylian stuff and all of the Zelda universe lore was just canon in Tamriel? Or Mundus oh, itself. God. Mundus being planet that Skyrim and all that takes place on. <laughs> hmm. That would mean Demise would be a fucking Daedra. Oh god, that's a scary thought. This looks incredibly silly. The Mighty also, Switch Force. I, I hmm. already know which one I am. I am Malin. I would not classify am... myself as a Zelda character because I'd either be un is like friggin' overselling myself or underselling a character. I, I don't feel like there's a Zelda character I particularly connect with. My brain is trying to think of which one would, would have a bit of close connection okay. with you. Um, okay, well. okay, so Brawlhalla is available as well as Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. No. All right. Well, let's try these out. Hmm. Hey, I got a dumb little joke for everybody. Well, not a joke, a dumb little question for everybody. Okay. What? So this is for you guys and anyone in the chat. What's so, up? Um... Mm. Wait, what? Go ahead. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Basically, if you, like, if a fucking, like, an evil Sauron-style dark lord, you know, like, a tyrant who rules over the land, all that shit, if they, like, reincarnated as you, and, you know, you suddenly inherited them, all their power, everything they owned, and just the status of an evil dark lord, but you were still yourself, what's the first thing you would do? in this new world as this Dark Lord. Oh, Jesus. It's like, would you just go off and do something else, or would you actually just try being an evil tyrant and go ransack some village somewhere? <laughs> what kind of evil Dark Lord would you be? Well, first off, I wouldn't be the one who immediately try to take the like most tyrants would, I actually would try to, at least first, try to slowly gain the, the trust and a, gain a reputation to and to the villages that I'm trying to control. And then once, and when they least expect it, then I make my attack. Ah. But of course, I make it seem like I'm on their side by taking out any underlings of have. Pur purposely making it seem like I'm being a hero, but in reality it was part of my plan of of trying to fool ah. the, my the victim. And basically, I betrayed them all by revealing I was not helping you. So you'd be like I. So you'd be like Eins from Overlord. Only you're actually a bad guy. If I wanted to be, if I had all that power, and if I felt like I wanted to be evil. <laughs> it's like, eh, if I was having a bad day. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the player. Not the player, the mixer. Come on. But yeah, I put, it's like, I put a message in the Twitch chat to clarify why I meant. It's basically like that one isekai anime trope where you die in the real world and you're reincarnated in a fantasy land. Of course Only it goes full screen. Alright, it's gonna get noisy a bit. Or, then, uh -oh. Actually... Control shift. Also, another quick, quick clarification for everyone in the Twitch chat. You can do whatever you want after you're reincarnated as this villain. You don't even have to be the villain. You can go out for a walk on the beach for all I care. Yeah. It's oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's like, it's okay, let me get out of here. Give me a second. It's like, for clarification for clarification for everyone in the Twitch chat, it's literally just the current evil guy bursts into flames and becomes you. Damn it! It's like, you are now in their place, and you can go do what you want. Alright, I'm gonna have yeah. to mute the desk audio for a second when starting this up, because goddamn. Okay. okay. Yeah. Sorry, folks, I didn't mean to cause that. Custom game room. Jesus. There. Yes, windowed, please. windowed now am i able to yes i am
There. Think of it like a power fantasy anime reincarnation situation where you're the protagonist or I suppose antagonist and you can just do what you want. All right. Like saying yeah. Minecraft like like saying Minecraft to creative mode. Yeah. God damn it, everyone's talking to you about anime. <laughs> that was not the purpose of this conversation. Oh. Also, people keep talking about Isekai Quartet. I've, I haven't i have seen it, and I don't think I'm going to see it, but like, I'll acknowledge that it's good because everyone keeps telling me it's good. Mm. I'm just not that, like, you know. If I wanted to just watch small, chibi crossover shenanigans, I'd... Um, Look at your average anime artist Twitter page. <laughs> also, Golden. Um, yes. Are you playing the game? Um, I finally got it started. Uh, the audio is back up. It's just that it's one of those games where you just turn it on and it goes all full screen. Like, okay, you want to go all big and everything. Right. Well, you kind of need to tone it down because this is going on a stream. Is the screen meant to be up? Because the screen isn't up. I, I just tra I just transitioned it right now. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see. Also, I have accumulated 1,040 channel points. All right, Top so three. recommended free-for-all. Okay. Is this uh, some kind of... Oh, shit, I just saw Rayman. <laughs> oh, what? oh, yeah, Golden. What? Logan, Brawlhalla actually has, like, a bunch of stuff from fucking Adventure Steve. Time. and Yeah, it's got Steven Universe. Steven Universe. All right. I remember seeing that, and I was like, that is just... Okay, so this looks like Super Smash Brothers. Hmm. Whoa, what like... the hell? It just suddenly, like, shifted to a different screen. The fuck? Why? I don't know. I remember, like, playing Brawl Hollow with some friends, and it was fun. Huh. I've never played this before. So far, it's... I hope it's going uh, smoothly on um, um, uh, the stream itself. Like, so far, I've got the green um, got the green bar so far, or green square. It's... It is looking good. I'm, like, I'm not noticing any stutters. All right, sweet. I saw that this game was, like, free, and not to mention it has its, like, own currency. Oh, shit. In fact, it looks more <laughs> like it's it looks the most stable. Yeah. Currently. Folks, how about you? I'm uh, I'm looking at the uh, oh Jesus. I, I'm just saying it. Two D Mash Bros. Two <laughs> D Mash Bros. Yeah. Whoa, Jesus. Yeah. The thing I love the most about Brawlhalla is the like, Whoa, even no, though. No. Even though it's a 2D side scroller and all that stuff, is like I feel like it's the sound of the animation. You can really feel the weight of the attacks you perform in this game. Yeah, this is so a pretty like my fun favorite, little game. My favorite is when I can get a blunt weapon like a hammer or the gauntlets, and I can really feel the freaking thwack as I hit my enemies with it. Huh. Okay, so this is just a simple like just playthrough game of bleh, whatever. Ah. Yeah. This could just it be like, like for like a post show or something. It it's playing like, smoothly. Yeah. It's not interrupting the call. Yeah. I mean, there's no main campaign of some kind that I know of. Hmm. Look, I feel like if since Brawlhalla is being this like stable with you, I feel like it would work to um. Th I feel like this would work as a sort of fuck about multiplayer game like Golf It. Well, no, not golf. Go with your friends. Only, you know. You I did. I did try that game before, and it lacked a lot. I mean, as yeah. is, there's a lot of like patience that you have to have when starting up uh, golf with your friends. Yeah. Plus, plus, streaming a game like golf with your friends would be hard because there's a lot of moving parts in it. Yeah.
Maybe that's why Brawlhalla is running so smoothly, because there's not a lot of moving parts in this one and everything's 2D. Maybe. It's like you've got the stage, you've got the weapons and the characters, and the background is just insert PNG file here. I mean, it also depends on how much of the, um... Uh... Jesus Christ, I'm getting my ass handed to me! Fucking hell! It's such a Smash Brothers knockoff, it's hilarious. So it looks like Mirage won. Hmm. Okay, so, um... Let's see, have you tried... I did try Them's Fighting Herds. I don't like the game. Oh, fucking golden. Yeah. Um, so... A while back when Them's Fighting Herds was, like, you know, making its way off the ground slowly mm -hmm. and, you know, with a slight limp, Fucking V did a video about trying it out. The like who did? I was in it. V, I think. V. Oh, Epic V. Uh huh. Yeah. Like they did a video on it, and I was in that video. And fucking, we tried playing the game, and <laughs> it wasn't broken. It was just difficult to maintain an interest in the actual game. So instead, what we started doing was just fucking around. We figured out that we could do this weird dash thing. And I was playing as the sheep, and it looked really weird when you just kept dashing from left to right. It looked like she was having a fucking seizure. <laughs> Wait and a minute, were you playing that one who lets the dogs do all the work? Yeah, that one. <laughs> that <laughs> is a fucking cop out of a fucking character. It's like they throw. It's like it's it's not Fluttershy, quote unquote. We basically referred to the characters as not insert character here. So for the. So for the cow, Arizona, it was not Applejack, quote unquote. And for the dragon bitch, it was not Rainbow Dash, quote unquote. Hi guys. It's like I. Oh, Paul. Peter. How are you doing? Yes. Hi. How are you doing? Hey. I've been better. I've been uh, had had a. I already know you're streaming, so don't worry. I had a problem last night where I fell into sensory overload and it basically ruined all of today. Oh. Aww. Oh, no, no, no. So I feel, I'm starting to feel better now. I usually feel pretty good when I'm in your stream calls, so I am just nice. going to chill out. And Golden, don't die. Oh, no. Too late. I'm already dead. <laughs> yeah. J12 at Logic is here. What racing game? I don't like racing games. It really all depends. I'm a Forza like, guy. A Forza yeah. guy? Yeah, Forza. Especially Forza Horizon. I love Forza Horizon. Mm. It's like, I feel like one of the only car games I've played that I've had continuous fun with is Burnout Paradise. No. A game called Flat Out Ultimate Carnage. And the reason I remember liking that game is because there was a game mode where you literally just launch your, like, where you launch yourself out of the car and into various oversized sport thing, like a high jump where you just get yourself caught in a fucking fence thing. Oh. Kind of like darts. It's like you play Markiplier... bowling. Huh? I was gonna say, like, didn't Markiplier play that game? Like, did like nope. a video of it? Oh. It's like none of the big YouTubers have played Flat Out Ultimate Carnage. They've played things like BMNG Drive, Next Car Game, and um, Skate 3, and all that stuff. But no, this okay. game was like an Xbox game, an Xbox 360 game. Uh, I don't know if it appeared anywhere else. But it was like the game modes, which were literally just launch your ragdoll into X and watch Y happen, were just the best time. Fucking morons. This has Ow. a lot about my taste in racing games when my favorite car game ignores cars entirely and just goes into kicking the shit out of myself. <laughs> oh, damn it! Mm. I killed myself. Fuck! Nah, I admit, <laughs> if, if I was to have, like, any, like, wish list for a car game, I love Forza Horizon, but I think it would be cool if they did a classic one that was, like, set, I don't know, like, in the States uh, during the, probably night, like, in, like, the early 70s, and then just do, like, a Old classic Horizon game. I do like what they did though, because I've never played a game that had an atmosphere as good as Horizon. 
And I do mean that legitimately. Especially with like the radio. Also, it also doesn't help that I am a total slut for house music. I love house. Nice. Okay. The chain smokers are my jam. Hmm. Well, one of them. All right. This ran pretty smoothly. And not just because I'm a chain smoker myself, but that's beside the point. New color. All right. Awesome. Offline play. Play local games at home. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a whole different, like, field of things. It feels like something that would be made out of Blizzard. Huh. Mm -hmm. It's got its own currency system and everything. It's like, good lord. And I'm surprised mm. at how smooth this plays. You think well, that like was... I said, it like, like I said, it doesn't have a lot of moving parts, at least graphic. I mean, like, based on the amount of features and how big this game looks, Jesus. I don't know. <laughs> um, I imagine if it was like 3D and they hold, had all those meshes and renders and stuff, then it'd be, like, it'd be a lot more taxing on your game's performance. And I just realized I didn't mm -hmm. lower the, uh, yeah, not the end of the world. It's still a good test run. Um... There's one other free game that I could uh, find. Because apparently I added it to my wish list, and this whole time it was just, like, free to download. I'm like, oh, really? The thing that caught my attention is that Brawlhalla apparently has uh, Steven Universe characters, and it's actually at the front being marketed right now. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what else do I have on my wish list? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Why does it say eight? I already had one of them. Let's see, a lot of these other games I still have yet to get. Um, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. I'm gonna go ahead and play that. It's got a, some positive reviews. Um, it might be not. It might not work very well on Dream because I, I am familiar with that. One. Oh, you're familiar with it? Okay, what is it? Yeah. It's basically a uh, horror game, to put it. At first, it doesn't start off seeming scary because they do these silly, silly little jump scares that are considered, like, characters that are, like, cutesy and all that stuff. But the further you go down into this area, the darker, disturbing, and creepy it gets. Mm -hmm. But it's a 3D, it's more 3D, though. Okay. But yeah, we'll there's going to be a lag a bit because I'm downloading it. <laughs> yeah. I think it's almost finished. So yeah, I, I know the game a bit because I've seen a lot of people play that game. Hmm. All right. So that's just what, what I've learned from the game. It's a really crazy game. Mm -hmm. uh, I decided I'll I'll just post my ass at work tomorrow just because. Wait, sorry, I brought that up out of the blue. That's fine. That's fine. Right now, we see Boo's on the couch next to me, and she looks like she's going to pass out. Yeah. Aww. Oh, bless me. All right, so... <laughs> spooky. Oh, socially? Oh, I did saw her uh, announcement. Oh, this was ending it early. We'll get one sec. I'll mute the mic once. Okay. 
Just in case, I'm going to go ahead and mute the desktop audio and start the game because you never know if it's going to go full screen or not. So nobody's going to be able to hear the call itself for the time being. So, doop, doop, doop. I'm going to wait until it starts up. Whoa. An app on your PC needs the following. What? Drag to play. You know what? I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to go ahead and stop. Yeah, stop. There we go. There. That's that's better. Okay. Um, uh, what other games could I test out? Actually, let me go to the store and see what games are free. Because apparently, there's a handful of games that are legitimately free. And I'm surprised mm -hmm. about that. I need to exit out here. Yeah, I've already got that. Yeah, remove it. Yes, remove that. I've already installed Brawlala. Um... Games. Here we go. View game library. No, not that. Back to the store. I'm trying to exit out of the damn wish list. Okay. There we go. Explore. There we go. Okay. Games. Free to play. Let's see what we got here. Let's see CSGO. Uh, Crusader Kings. I've already got Brawlhalla. Darwin Project. Stay Out. Boiling Steel. Let's see. New and Trending. Top Selling. Oh, Counter-Strike. That's what that is. Alright. That does not look mm. like a game that'll stream well. Yeah. Dota Do? What is Dota? Oh, it's one of those uh, top view games, those tabletop games. Hmm. Let's see, World of Warships, Star Trek Online Awakening, Eve Online, DS World Stream Edition. Phone Flings? I don't even know. EverQuest, I don't even know what that is. Still browsing through here. All right. Why does Golden sound sad? I, did, I didn't mean to sound sad. I'm just like thinking out loud. Digimon Masters Online. Spiral Knights. What? Yeah, there's a Digimon game on uh, Steam. Oh my god. Okay, should I add anything else on this? Normal space. All right, I, I think that's enough. I think I've tested enough games. <laughs> so there's still a, a few that I have on my wish list. Once I um, dimension, uh, there's no way I'm going to try Uno. I mean, as is, while I was offline and I turned on Uno, um, it lagged the call so bad, and I wasn't even streaming. I'm, I'm still mad at Uno for fucking with my mic settings every time I tried to play it. Oh yeah, no, it, it got really stupid. Is like fucking. I'll try to play it, and then, like, the moment we begin is just like friggin It's like my mic gain goes all the way up, and my sensitivity shits itself. <laughs> yeah. Everything is like everything turns into. Oh like, imagine that is like imagine that the bass boosted and played backwards with an echo effect. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Uh. I think I've tested a couple games here. Okay, so the games that are left over on my wish list, um, that's something I'll have to pay for. Um, within that time, I right now have to situate my uh, my financial stuff because, um, like in February, I got a major smog check, and hopefully um, I'll use uh, my Patreon money for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking care of a couple of realized stuff that's very costly, and hopefully once I get through that, 
Um, I'm gonna start paying like a game or two one by one. So that yeah. way I'll have more options. Let me right now I've got plenty of options here. In fact, I should be right down. I'm back. Hello? I'm back. Right here. Hey Peter. Alright. Suggested games. Uh, Streamable uh, Steam games. Okay. Avian Adventures I already have the written down. Um Let's see, brawl -ala. I'm gonna put that next. Singapore. I don't know what are the games that I try out? Um oh yeah, um a robot named Fight. That yeah, game. So, something I am gonna do, uh if I do get a Linux laptop. First game I'm installing on it, or just I'm just gonna install the Lin Linux Aleph One so I could play the Marathon trilogy on it. Nice. Because because '90s Bungie. <laughs> no, wait, it's supposed to be fight a robot named. Fight. All right, so I got that down. Do I have Castle Catchers run down here yet? Because that one played smoothly. Yes, I do. I have that one down. And oh, yeah, I think I broke down Shovel Knight. I mean, Shovel Knight, it said that a couple of frames skipped, but nobody, um, nobody took any issue with it. Hmm. Like, when you say no one took any issue with it, is it... Was there something about it being a gift that people would have taken issue with, or just no one took issue with it in terms of like popularity, like people coming in to watch kind of thing? Um, when I was testing it out, I got to make sure that whatever Steam games I'm streaming, it plays and performs smoothly. And um, apparently, I received like over two hundred frames skipped, but people said it played like fine. Huh. That's weird. It's weird. It, it's very weird. Yeah, it's really weird. I don't know how to stream, and I want to. Miles, you need to get, like, OBS Studio or Broadcaster and um, have a Twitch. Obviously, you have a Twitch account, but you have that and um, learn yeah, how to I'm... set up a, uh, set up a screen, which should be easy to work with. There are a lot of tutorial videos, too. Like, yeah. Freaking, oh, yeah. That, that's there's, a tutorial vi like, there's a tutorial video out there for every grain of rice that exists in the universe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you have your death mark. Uh, no, I don't know what death mark is. All right. Uh, you need to take some medicine or something? What? No. <laughs> no, so, no I, was, I was asking Bliss. Oh. Oh, yeah. okay. Watching your anime. Um, oh, hi, Nickel. Um, it looks like we're about to wrap things up. Let's see, I mainly play Xbox, and that's how I play the best. And I don't think that it, OBS is free. Yes, OBS is free. It's absolutely free. Oh, is Blissy feeling okay? Um, what's going on with Bliss? So she just feels a little bit sick. She's um, so she's chilling out on the couch. Okay. Aww. Poor Bliss. Poor Miss Blissy. Yeah, poor Miss Blissy indeed. Yes, fingers crossed. We all hope that she gets better soon. Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. So we're reaching to almost like three hours. But yeah, um. Yeah. So. Goldie, did you mention at some point that you were gonna, you had plans to buy or get a new computer? Yes, I have a couple of milestones listed down for it. 
Uh, like, what was her budget? Um, twelve hundred. Yeah, you can get a decent one for twelve hundred. Um, my recommendation for you would get to, would be to get a Ryzen rig, a Ryzen processor rig with at least sixteen gigs of RAM. I think that's what the price came to when I was looking on a couple of websites. I mean, I think you and Bliss were there when I was searching around last year for a Steam uh, a stream test. No, yeah, like the, the thing I was looking, the thing I was pointing out was um, I. Like, I watch, like, PC Builder videos all the time. I do hardware hacks on my own laptops. So they become obsolete because I like, keep using them. Um, basically, I know my way in and, out of a, in and out of a computer is quite a few of our friends do. Right. I was just saying that, like, my recommendation would be, because they're cheaper and they're really good for gaming, um, don't go for Intel because they'll be paying more money. Just go for a Ryzen rig with at least 16 gigs okay. of RAM. Uh, Ryzen comes in in a Windows format, right? Oh, yeah, I know. Ryzen and Intel are both x86 architecture, okay. so... All right. Um, the, only, the only processor I know of that wouldn't allow you to um, run m many of your programs would be is if you were running um, an ARM processor. Mm. Okay. But you're not likely to encounter them on a lot of websites. Um, I know the laptop I want to get runs an ARM processor, but, like, for instance, your cell phone has an ARM processor in it. Seems like like everybody in my apartment like they each have their own computer and their own laptop. Like Chrissy recently got, I think, a MacBook. I need to get one too. But yeah, let's see. Streamable Steam one games. I was... Go ahead. No, the the laptop I was looking at literally only cost two hundred bucks. Mm. Oh, that's not bad. Like new, not used, new. If you want, if you want a budget thing though, you can get. Like some decently spec laptops, even from the beginning of the last decade, mm -hmm. that actually do have some pretty good specs on them. The only thing I'd recommend against them, though, is if you just don't use a Pavilion DV6, because even though the specs are really awesome, the cooling system is shitty. So unless you know how to repair the, unless you don't mind getting out a screwdriver and repairing that cooling system once every few years. I know. Um, Dimensional. Yeah, I cannot you, click on the link right now when I'm uh, currently live because I can't. I can't clink the link. <laughs> yeah, because if I'm watching a YouTube video while I'm streaming, you're going to hear a bunch of, like, clueless sound based off of what you're watching. And if I try to switch to, like, um, you know, the, uh, what is it, the, uh, the desktop uh, stream, it lags like hell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'll have to take a look at it. Actually, let me see if I can right-click and copy the link. Yes, I can. Yeah, uh, I got clinked the, the link. Yep, I yeah I cl um I right click the link and uh, now it's copied. So the only thing left to do is just check it out, and um, uh, you know I yeah I I I, th I think that's just about it. So um, I've tested a couple of games. Um, most of them work pretty well. I hope Shovel Knight does work well in the future because it is like a set like it's a, like a donation milestone. And I want to make sure that people have what they're after. Otherwise, I'll have to figure out some kind of alternative to make up for it. And then maybe, like, stream it when I get a powerhouse of a computer. Hmm. So, yeah. Hell, I might just put some more titles, like, in between. And make things a little interesting. Something that would be funny to play around with. <laughs> yeah. Hell. I could put freaking Barbie <laughs> games in there and people would find it hilarious. <laughs> oh, no. I just kind of, I wish my capture card I wish I still had all the stuff for my capture card because I probably would have at least tried to just like stream for a bit for a bit of money because it's just like oh here are a lot of games I used to play may as well just uh fucking uh do an easy playthrough of all the games I played through when I was younger to see what happens oh. yeah I wish my capture card games. still worked so, I've of... got a few games that I'm hoping to do when I do Let's Plays of, uh, but some of them are really close childhood memories, basically. Oh, that does remind me. Uh, Peter, do you play Castle Crashers? I have not played Castle Crashers. Damn it! Okay, because I, I was hoping at one point, because I'm gathering players for Castle Crashers, and it'd be like, it'd be like one of those streams where like all of us are playing. It's yeah, a, it's if a if I wanted to, I could... Go ahead. Yeah, no, I, I imagine I could buy it if I wanted to, but I need to wait till I have money for that. No, that's understandable. Uh, 
yeah, my current condition has prevented me from working and I was going to go back today, but last night, yeah, long story. So I, I took, so I decided to um, allow myself today to rest too. Okay. Yes. No, that's, that's understandable. That fine. Yeah. Yeah. And if, if worse comes to worst, uh, I'm not terribly worried because, um, on the 22nd of this month, I have, um, the, the emergency room gave me a free doctor's appointment. So. Oh, good. Uh, Yay. Yeah. All right. Maybe if I'm lucky, he'll give me a CAT scan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For those of you who don't know, I went to Kyle, uh, to uh, one of the ERs in Kyle, requested a CAT scan, and they didn't give it to me. Instead, they just took a blood and urine sample which is what they have all always done and said, by the way, nothing's wrong with you enough to think that it warrants a CAT scan. So we're just not going to give you the CAT scan. <laughs> it's like, oh, thanks. Aww. Yeah. Looking forward to see Bad Game Streams. Uh, you're one of the funniest, uh, you're one of the funniest people I know. As well as some good games. Is Castle Crashers cross-play or no? What's cross-play? Okay, uh, so cross platform. Yeah, yeah, so like someone playing a game on the PC, if that game is cross platform, a PC gamer could play with an Xbox game or a PlayStation game. Castle oh. Crashers isn't cross play though. Oh. Uh, Wheel still says yeah. that Finn plays Castle Crashers. Ooh. No, yeah, Finn does stream, believe it or not. I saw me and uh, uh, Solar Flare. And that's when right. Solar Flare was visiting one time. We saw him playing uh, Fortnite with on a live stream. I do know that he also oh, streams on Fridays. Oh, shit. Imagine, like, okay, if I could talk to him, like, he could stream, like, we could both, like, do our own streams. Like, I would do my own stream, he'd do his. Solar can do his. Imagine all of us together doing a multiplayer campaign online. I'd be the only person not streaming on Twitch. <laughs> still, no, like, that I, I would still... be badass. Yeah. I still think that one of the things we should do is if we all gather together for, like, Maybe not even just as a trip, but if we just like, what if we just meet up at someone's house and we just hang out with each other like it's the '90s or something? <laughs> like, no, um, and then we just have like, okay, I've got because I have a TV. It's not in use right now. It's back there, and I've got like a couple Xboxes, or I've got an Xbox. Solar's got an Xbox. It's like, okay, hello everyone. We're doing System Link, and we're doing it in true '90s style. Uh, we've got our Mountain. We've got our Mountain Dew. We've got our Mountain Dew. We've got our copies of Halo booted up in both system linked in both Xboxes. And oh, uh, it's midnight, so ready to go. Oh, I remember when fucking we used to pull fucking weekend long all night of just gameplay binging. Yeah, no, that's kind of what I like to recreate the experience of whenever I do these streams. Like no, dude, I would love to have like a, a post con trip where that's what we do. We just essentially do shit like that yeah but no but back to what i was saying whenever it comes to streaming i like to do it on friday nights where it kind of feels like that set friday night where you're just mm -hmm. playing a game people are hanging out and doing stuff that's that's the kind of experience i like to recreate whenever i'm doing these you know yeah. oh yeah it's cool to recreate it but i'd love to do it like in person like in the like in the old days hold on a second yeah. hold on a charky also plays castle crashers a wheel of steel uh, says also maybe ask a charky. I'll have to get some clarity from him because I know he I does streams. Yeah, charky does. Yeah, charky streams. I think. Yeah, but we don't know if he plays the game too. Ooh, we see the ice cream sandwich battle. <laughs> ice cream sandwich <laughs> battle? What? Um. Okay. If there's a channel on YouTube called Sorted Food, and it's five guys who live in London. Two of them are professional chefs, and the other three are just normies who are, are foodies. And they'll sometimes challenge each other to a battle. So they'll say, like, ultimate ultimate fried chicken, or ultimate chicken battle, ultimate ice cream sandwich battle, ultimate homemade pasta battle. Um, right. And they'll all go head to head to head. Oh, they got the ultimate burrito battle, potato skins battle, bacon sandwich battle, bread battle... They've certainly covered Steak the battle. Yeah, no, and they also have a series where they will visit, they will go to America called Game Changers, and they have to, they, everything they do, they must get off local recommendation from their fans in that region of America. And they have to master, they have to first try out all the local culinary cuisine from that area, 
and then on the next day they have to source ingredients to make it in a chef to chef battle so for instance when they went to portland maine they did lobster rolls so the first day was them trying out every different variation of the lobster roll available in portland maine and the next day they had to after trying out classics remixes redoings and innovations of it they have to then make their own lobster roll battle in may in portland maine using local ingredients to give one example they also did po boys in new orleans i need to visit new orleans i need to visit the fucking u.s one day no you do it's the only trouble is to find a place to visit when you get there yeah like um what is it um you need to figure out where where to go and what to where to go and what to do when you're there, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, All right. Because there are a few hubs where most of us live. There's if you want to go to where Golden is, you're going to L.A. County. Um, if you want to go to where me, Solar, or like where me, Solar, and Blissey are, then you're going to Texas. Um, and those are like the two main. I would say those are the two main hubs. Ellie lives in Indiana. I think it's Indiana. Is it Indiana or Illinois? Pretty Indiana. sure it's Indiana. Okay, mm-hmm. it is Indiana, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Anyways, um, I think it's, you... it's best that I wrap this up. Sorry to interrupt. Um, You're so, good. All right, so um, I think I'm going to officially start on Friday the 23rd, I think that's what the next date is. Hang on, i got to check the calendar here. Pop up, you son of a bitch. Thank you. Oh, the Friday 24th. The 24th. 24th, there we go. Mm-hmm. So, Friday the 24th, that's when I start getting back into playing, um, you know, doing the official streams. Test runs are still going to be around whenever I get my hands on them, but until then, I uh, can't afford any of the other games that I want to try yet. Any River City games? I tried River City uh, Ransom Underground. It it played fine. Anyways, uh, thank you for anybody who's uh, dropped by, and um, I'll see you uh, next Friday.